coming up on Just Elders Podcast. What I'm do? You want how you, how you feeling? All right, boom. So I'm here. So today, man, as y'all know, Just Elders Media, we said we want to create content to push the culture forward. <laughs> Women be like, oh, I hate a nigga say good morning. They'll cut me a key. Yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, dial, yeah. dial up the internet. Dial up you go to Waffle House and get a CD. There's mm-hmm. a nigga running on it like this. But with it's that, also, with that, it's a, it's also a downside because it's a lot of niggas doing it for the bread instead of doing it. But that look what your boy just did. All right, Dion. let's talk about Dia. Yeah, nah, fuck Dia. Mm-hmm. How y'all feel about that? Answer your question. I feel like niggas, niggas subconsciously know, like if they have a shot of making, like even going to college, like niggas know, like subconsciously. Mm-hmm. Type shit, but I mean, yeah, knowing what you know now, what are you changing about your journey? And I never play you again. You know who you are, nigga. Right they made a movie about a white boy that sucked. Oh, <laughs> Literally. Chill. Chill. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> nigga, with your dead family. You <laughs> like, <laughs> ready? Born ready. Yeah, it's time. It's time. I told y'all I've been working on something. I'm excited about Man, this shit right here. With me. Hey, what? hey, hey, let's go. <laughs> Do me a favor. Tell your mama, your cousin, your sister, your Man. brother, your best friend too. We got some new shit out. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Keep you a fool for this one. <laughs> hey, man. These young niggas deserve it, man. <laughs> These young niggas yeah. deserve it, man. These young niggas deserve yeah. it. Man. Hey. 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 Can I do it just like this? Can I do it like this? What's up, family? It's your boy, LG Chilla Two. You got just on the podcast, the hottest podcast to ever get the airways. I am super excited because I'm about to record the greatest episode I have ever recorded. I say it every time and I mean it every single time. Hey. Hey. If you're on YouTube, I apologize. But shout out to the iTunes. Shout out to the Spotify. Hey. 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 Sly. 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 Tell me who. Who. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that boy Keith yeah. got a package. He got a new package. Hey, hey. That boy Keith, he ain't coming to play, man. <laughs> super excited, super excited. Round of applause, man. Can I get a round of applause? Um, without further ado, Without further ado, man, we have, um, I'm proud of this moment. I'm proud because uh, this is what it looks like when you work hard. This is what it looks like when you manifest. This is what it looks like when you execute. You know what I'm saying? That's a word that I said was a word for 2022. I said execute. And um, super excited about this moment. Um, Keith, how you want me to do? You want me, how, you, how you feeling? All right, boom. So I'm here. So today, man, as y'all know, Just Elders Media, we said we want to create content to push the culture forward. Uh, we want to entertain, elevate, entertain, elevate, excite, and, you know, um, inspire the people for more. Um, this podcast landscape, we always looking at it. What is in the game right now? What is missing? What do people want? And there's a voice that you don't hear all the time in this podcast. You hear a whole bunch of old ass niggas, you hear a whole bunch of shouties that be flexing, you hear a whole bunch of business shit, you hear a whole bunch of, it's a lot of stuff going to lead, but you have not heard the voice of the Knicks, them cats that got Knicks. Only time we hear from this generation, they either rapping or they getting uh, caught up on some bullshit. So I'm super excited, man, the young boys. You always hear me talk about the young wolves. Um, this is the my favorite Young Wolves group. I don't have a couple of them, <laughs> but these are the ones that don't last the longest. The young boys been going hard. So hey, we're gonna get them boys a podcast. Hey, you talking about Facts. Easy. Hey, so for the first time, I'm proud to introduce all of the hosts 
co-host of the Who Gave Them Boys podcast. Yes, podcast. Sir. Round of applause. Yeah. Round of applause. Yeah. Round of applause. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. First on the mic, I'm gonna go sure. all the way to my left. I'm gonna come back in. First on the mic, y'all already know who it Yo. is. The young locks. The young lion, you see the mane. I thought he cut him. I was about to be mad as hell. Uh, Y'all give it up for Takori the Great. What's up, baby? What's going on, brother? What's going on, brother? Super excited. Um, you know, saying grateful. Um, it's crazy because I was actually going through the whole story of how all this came like came to fruition. Uh with my pops early today. So we're just real big on how like we got from starting with the work in the streets, working together, working here on the pod, and just moving forward. So Yeah. That's what's sure. up. That's what's up. Hey, <clears throat> next on the mic. Next on the mic. I mean, yeah. Let me just say this. Niggas been coming up to me like, bro, you on some different shit, and you right. I am. I'm on some different. Bring me my money. <laughs> 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 I'm on some different shit. I mean, it just is what it is. And uh, one of the thing, man, the drip, the drip, did switched up a little bit, man. You know, shout out to. This cat who I'm about to bring to the mic, man, they know him as Jay Zay. I know him as Cozy the Collector, man. JJ the Shoe Man. What it is, baby? Yo, yo, what up, family? What up, family? Man? It's, it's your boy, it's your boy JJ, Cozy Boy JJ, Cozy Collector, whatever you want to call me. But I'm just happy, blessed, grateful to be on this platform, just build my brand, build my personal brand, my business brand, all that. You feel me? So, uh, <laughs> straight up, Bless. straight up. Bless. Next, 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 man. It's a reason why if you look in the back right now, you see this flag fine. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. Sa mm. We got it. Uh, we yeah. always gotta represent, man. Our brothers sure. across the water, man. I Haitian brothers. <laughs> 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 My I Haitian brother, man. You know what I'm saying? This cat, he just looked like this, but a man full of talents. Come on, now. <laughs> man. Pianist. Oh, yeah, we do it all. Rapper. Right there, we do it all. <laughs> Ain't samurai. <laughs> we do it it's all. It's nothing he can't do. <laughs> Y'all give, give it up for my boy, Dutson. Hey, man, you know, blessed and highly favored. Just uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here, man. We ready to get things rolling, man. Y'all don't know how long this thing been in the works, man. Yeah, you know, this, man we find it here, man. This shit yeah. cooking. Man, so yeah, we ready to, you know, ready to get this shit on the road. Last but not least. <laughs> Last but not least, youngest in charge, Jimmy. living life large. <laughs> he ain't on the camera because you can see him on his all the time. Goddamn Cal, for real. Y'all give it yeah. up, give it up. Yeah, stop playing, stop playing. Cal, how does YouTube run the game? Feeling? You feel me? How y'all feeling, man? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cal, for real. Sure. Follow me on every platform. I'm just here to make shit shape, bro. Keep popping it, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad to be here with the guys. My new favorite troller. Hear me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, look. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, these are the co-hosts of the Who Gave Them Boys podcast. Podcast, Just Elders Media, newest original show. Yeah. Super excited about it. Uh, yeah. Episode zero zero for these boys. So, if you out there listening, do me a favor, subscribe right now. Go follow it, them, Thanks. them boys pod, them boys pod. Go follow them on all platforms. Okay. Link in the description. Link in the description. Link in the description. Show on both feeds right now. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. So, look, we about to run their numbers up and do me a favor. Comment your favorite member in the group. Right, <laughs> right uh, now. Right now. I want right to see now. who your favorite, who your right favorite now. member. Right, right, right. Comment right now on the <laughs> right IG now. page. Yeah. Under the, are we about to drop so the who, official. Who, who y'all think will be the number one? Who y'all think? Huh? Me. Yeah, I'm gonna say, of course, yeah. I'm going to say myself. Saying, you yeah. feel me? Everybody saying they say? Nobody. Accusations. I like me. <laughs> no <Nope>. false <laughs> accusations. <laughs> no, nobody going to be real. Nobody going to be real. Who they think it really going to be? Just what, what I'm saying. Y'all niggas ain't keeping it real. Who y'all think it's going to be? Who y'all think it's going to be? So, all right. Y'all you know? see how we do the logo, right? Or yeah, yeah. Now yeah. I got I got all of those individual faces. Gonna be up there. Yeah. I mean, and listen. I'm going to put them all on the shirt. Okay. Yeah. And that's how we're gonna know so, who's so, shirt okay. selling them. Well, one, that's how we gonna know. <laughs> yeah. Two, Update. let's be candid, right? Like how we start like, like how we started this shit. We been piding. We we professional potters. Yeah, right? okay. it's great professional. So right. y'all been piding, and everybody know how we do it just social media. Like you'll be piding for a month or two yeah. before the show come out. Right. So now y'all boys is potting. Yeah, y'all potting. Y'all y'all. Based on how y'all been piding, I can tell y'all who gonna be the crowd favorite. Mm, I, okay. feel, I feel like niggas gonna have their different niches. Like yeah. he, go, yeah, he gonna have nah. the nah. Elbow. I feel like Jake, Nah, you already lost. Look, that's what I'm saying. It's, <laughs> nigga, it's Power Rangers. 
Who, who what ranger you want to be? Shit. The black ranger. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Black yeah. ranger's the only ranger. Nah, I'm yeah. Nah, that white ranger would have. That's what I'm saying. Y'all niggas know the white <laughs> ranger. Y'all feel that hot and that green yeah, ranger. I ain't right. saying that, though. That was cool. Yeah. Now, look, y'all give, y'all give look, it the bro. answer now that we conscious. <laughs> But when we were watching that shit in kids, White Ranger, yeah. <laughs> like White Ranger, like nigga, before we really started listening, nigga, to he was the only nigga with extra shit. All the other Rangers was normal. Yeah, this nigga sword was bias as fuck. <laughs> nigga had goddamn vest on his shoulders. <laughs> Everybody's shit was plain as fuck. Plain as fuck. Nah. We got them spandex on. You making it sound good? Nah, that I shit out of what shit was. You you really cool. running from the question though? So what? now I'm saying who you I'm think? Who you think? Who I said? Yeah. Shit, yeah. Ba- it's gonna be two. It's gonna be who pot the best. Who's gonna come in with that shit on? Because okay. you know it's also visual. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now JJ be stre- dressing and it's his brand, so they gonna love him for his shit. Okay. But as far as talking wide, who's gonna be? I think y'all gonna get the advantage. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Because he not because he off screen. Because yeah, he off screen. Man, yeah, yeah. 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 surprise nigga. One day you just need to come pull that. One day you just need to pull that chair up in the front of this camera the and let the nigga know the energy. I'm gonna let the listeners choose. We have we have more cams coming. We have more cams coming. Think about it. Damn that nigga ugly. Uh, that yeah, nigga hey, back there. Hey, chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out. <laughs> they, they, see him, they see him on logo. <laughs> you feel me? Lift that little bucket hat up. <laughs> 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 Fuck your time. <laughs> All right, man. Um, so, yeah, uh, I can tell y'all, we told y'all why we wanted to do this podcast. One, we feel like, you know, y'all be playing, but we do feel like y'all got y'all head on straight. Um, we feel like y'all... Um, Definitely are some intelligent young brothers, um, but it's, we think it's a void in the game, right? Uh, right now, y'all opinion, based off y'all generation, who's the person that's talking outside of music? Like, do y'all have those personalities? Because y'all be like, y'all still know about Sway. You know what I'm saying? Sway old as fuck. Yeah. Like Ryan Cameron, that nigga be talking about Umar Johnson. Yeah, that like, nigga old. Yeah. That nigga old. Like who? Who are the speakers of y'all generation? Social, the social media nigga. You like, like, but who? Yeah. You talking about like under like probably like thirty five and under? Like Desi? Like nah. thirty? <laughs> no, no, not nah, thirty five nah. and under. I'm talking about, I'm like talking about in the twenties. Yeah, y'all are in y'all twenties. Mm-hmm. Fuck the thirty shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all in y'all twenties. I say the social media niggas like the Instagram shit, niggas. Yeah. Who? Hold on, hold on. Like do, who? Yeah. Do, do anybody know how old Nineteen Keys is? Because I feel like you probably, you probably. That might be what I look. He's a good one. RZA yeah. might be y'all age. RZA, by, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. I think RZA know. Know. Nineteen Keys is younger than RZA. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, RZA is. Yeah, I don't know. For, okay. Like Nineteen Keys, y'all got. But what you mean, though, know, outside of music, though? Because I feel like our whole generation is kind of like our whole style is based out of music. You feel me? Nah, y'all got like, like, like we got music, we got radio personalities. Like y'all ain't even naming none of the young radio. Per- it's like oh, a oh, it's like, something in Atlanta. Manny yeah. Supreme, a good one. Yeah, like, uh, he go crazy. What's his name? Um, Slim, um, Slim Flex. He uh, he with uh, ninety four. Uh, oh, on the radio? Yeah, yeah, he on the radio. Yeah. Shit, I don't know that is. Niggas ain't listening to radio. Yeah, no. Niggas not tapping into radio. Nigga. Nah, the radio. Gets only radio to nigga that. I know is Grand Street. For real? That's and, old. And Grand nigga. Street, I'm mean, sixty. You don't know about Ferrari, <laughs> Simmons, Fly Guy, DC. Yeah, yeah, I know about Fly Guy, DC. Ferrari, Simmons. I listen to my music, nigga. I don't listen to radio. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they just yeah. be having other motion in the city, but yeah, yeah, I don't know who the spokesperson is, man. So it's a lot of internet shit. I say that. So, yeah, so, so what I'm saying is the why this is so important for me is. We don't really get to hear y'all perspective. All right, 19 Keys is 25. 20, that's them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, that's yeah. them. Yeah, so sure. yeah. y'all got 19 Keys. Mm. But but other than that, 19 Keys represents one. He got one mm. conversation he stayed in mm-hmm. from what I know about him. I don't yeah. really listen to him like that. Yeah. But like, when do we really hear y'all? You know what I'm saying? You get a lot of old niggas that give an opinion on what y'all think <laughs> and how y'all think and how y'all. Like the old nigga like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, take off your uh, bad and boozy. Well, you take it. <laughs> go to the dope with the Uzi, whatever he was saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, nigga ain't even on the song. Like, I want to talk about bad boozy. Yeah. So it's like nobody gets to really hear y'all, what y'all think about what's happening. So that's why I'm excited about this shit, the young perspective. Mm-hmm. So, like, with that being said, what are people that, what can people expect from y'all show? Uh, I think first and foremost is creativity. You did what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? We come for creators, so therefore we do have the ability to create. We got the ability to build, so we're going to be building. You're going to catch us in the streets, moving, you know what I'm saying? Focus on serving leadership. Um, 
insight on music and shit because that's also a big topic. Like the older people is always looking at the music that we got and say it's trash or it's negative. And you give or say, yeah, it's more. But like at the end of the day, like it just ain't all that we compromise of is the music that we listen to. It is a big, you know what I'm saying, input into our heads, but it ain't the only thing that's going to be mm-hmm. in our heads. Like you just got to kind of chop it up. So just giving like real spiel on shit. Yeah. Um, talks about like, you know what I'm saying? Experiences, everybody fresh either was in college or, you know what I'm saying, somewhere yeah. near college type shit. So just going through the college experience on some shit. I say just yeah. a different perspective. Like yeah. The younger Sex. generation, yeah. Young, yeah. Young educated black generation. Yeah. Just different perspective yeah. on, on topics that was talked that is talked about. Yeah. So, What's y'all ages? Yeah. Tell everybody y'all ages. I'm 23. Yeah, 23. Just turned 23. I'm 20. That nigga ain't 20. I'm 20. <laughs> 21 next year. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Can't even buy no real Yeah. Nah, the nigga so, got an ID. That nigga look 39. <laughs> like, bro, did I give you that shit with me? Hey, hey. <laughs> that shit working, though. Why that but, ID's so serious? Why that ID's so serious? Say, nigga, y'all, y'all younger fuck. 23. Keith, you remember 23? <laughs> <laughs> niggas, niggas ages young, but niggas mindset. I feel like yeah. niggas on niggas the twenty three. Well, yeah. I, I remember twenty. All right, so talk, let's talk about it. I can remember twenty three because what's that? What, what, year? what year is that? Let me look. Well, you know, twenty three. Twenty three is like uh, I'm trying to figure out like that one is Jim Crow. Get different. The nigga was out there getting sprayed. Oh. See, see, look, this this is the type of nigga that don't be knowing how the pod shit going. So like at twenty three, yeah, yeah, I was still in school. I was about to leave, about to leave college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I, oh, I had just left college. Yeah, yeah. my son. Was yeah, got two thousand twelve. Yeah, yeah, two thousand twelve. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Damn. All right, so two thousand twelve. Oh, nigga. Y'all didn't want to see me in 2012. No, I'm saying 2012. 2012, like, I'm, when you I'm, were bald headed. Yeah, I'm bald headed. Yeah. But I'm two years in Atlanta. Yeah. I done came up here and went ham on y'all niggas. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, that, that's the first year I met Malvin. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, that was the first year I met. And that's when I'm, nigga, they got Eldridge Law and Letters McMahon for a reason. That's when I'm hungry. Youngest in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hungry for this shit, nigga. That's, yeah, yeah. that's when I'm in the city. I'm running. I got the made movement, bro. 23 is like, when you get that energy. 23, you can just run, work all night, work out. By, by then, I had two kids. That so was, like, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had two kids by then. So, yeah. Because my son was born the year before that. Yeah. Need the damn sound instead. No, no, no. Them are kids. So, like, I, have, I, was, I, was, I was definitely blessed at that time. Like, 23. Yeah. But it was a different... Yeah, Different times, man. Like the I internet wasn't the same. Nigga, talking about like 13 years ago, bro. The internet yeah, was not yeah. the same. That's why I really be hard on y'all. This niggas. shit be this shit so, was different. I be, Social I be, media I, wasn't the same. That's why I be hard on y'all so niggas. What shit wasn't the same. Huh? What'd he say? That nigga turned the mic on. That's oh, that was, that was, yeah. I'm like, what am I saying? back on. See, this nigga don't know how to act. Yeah. So yeah, but emotion, shit, emotion. We got them going back then. We had cell phones. We had goddamn. What you mean? Y'all, y'all had the brick motherfuckers. That's crazy. No, no, we had uh, uh, the motor roller, the uh, sidekicks and shit. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, on the ladybugs and shit. Two thousand twelve. Nigga, just got down flipping the razors and shit. Okay. Nigga. In two thousand twelve. Two thousand twelve. That's razors. You got it. Damn, you were broke, bro. Yeah, razors. You were broke. Yeah, Blackberry. Nah. I, no, no, no. The iPhone wasn't the iPhone. What was it then? Nah, it, it, was, I mean, it was a no. So you had just came from yeah, the iPod came. to an iPhone, right? Oh, okay. It was so fresh. you wouldn't, yeah. So like niggas, you really didn't need an iPhone if you had an iPod. Like okay, you, it was iPhone wasn't a social status. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It, now it was, on and, some, it went, and it was an ecosystem. Yeah, it, it wasn't. It was yeah. also exclusive shit, but it wasn't a social status. Yeah. Now it's a social status because. One nigga with an Android can fuck up a whole group chat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah, that yeah. wasn't back in the day. All our chats were the same. They yeah. all look weird as fuck. Yeah. And back in the day, y'all don't remember this shit. Keep you remember this shit. Uh-huh. You could text all your shoulders in one thread, yeah, don't talk but about that, nobody bro. see it. Don't talk about that. Literally bro. one text. That good, that good morning text. But that good morning text. You sent. You put everybody in the same thread and said good morning, nigga, I had, I had and a, nobody uh, seen that shit except the person that look, got it. Look, I took y'all niggas yeah, back to four. That's why women be like, oh, I hate a nigga say good morning. They will cut me and Q. Yeah. We fought <laughs> well, that. Well, that, that's, that's when you see you were lucky because like you was in the city, your whole spread out. I'm on a college campus. So I'm texting every hoe the same good morning text. And some of these hoes might be friends. So they, they get in the message. Bing, bing. He just text me good morning. He just text me good. Having a whole meeting about my good morning text. Oh, and I remember when they fucked it up. for the. I remember when they yeah, first made a group chat. 
Mm. I sent the group message uh-huh. and Ooh. everybody was in it. Yep. Mm. And I was Damn. like, what the fuck? Like, literally, you used to be able to load up your you shit. When the niggas that ended up on Twitter, getting screenshot and put it on Twitter, huh? Look, we ain't even had that back then. <laughs> it was, the, back, well, back then, it was like Twitter after dark and shit. So yeah, like, it, was like, really, it was really nasty. All this shit was like beta. Yeah. Everything was fucking beta. And everything like, wasn't, it wasn't everybody. It was just college. It was just 18 and up. When no uh, high schoolers, when no old people. So yeah. like it was y'all generation, eighteen to yeah, like twenty. We really had a period where social media was just us. Yeah, mm-hmm. nobody younger. Nobody younger. Nobody. Nigga, older. Facebook. You had Facebook, to be in college. You had to have a college. Yeah. I didn't even what? get on Facebook I because I I ain't go to college. See, y'all niggas, did, nigga, you had to have a college email email to, to get register. on Facebook. Damn. You couldn't even get on. So it was a time where Facebook was on. That's why a lot of millennial motherfuckers don't leave Facebook because they were really the first ones for real, for real on it. I feel that. And like every time I be trying to head, leave, I see like old Facebook. shit. Like, and, and, and the reason why Facebook was so fucked us up so bad, I mean, imagine, got them, imagine my run, right? I went to Carver Middle School in Monroe, left Carver, ended up going to uh, high school in Athens, left Athens, ended up finishing in Conyers. Mm. Get on Facebook and you see everybody you were in school <laughs> with, bro, growed up. Mm-hmm. Like you literally instantly see shouter that you used to try to fuck with right there. You know what I'm saying? Old, t- I mean, everybody was, and that's what face- Facebook was like a connection phenomenon. It was like mm-hmm. people finding people that they ain't seen each other. Like I'm telling you, I, I mean, love that shit. That like, shit, you used to that see shit motherfuckers was, glow up. Some oh of yeah, them old teachers like oh, nigga. I'm grown now. Yeah, I came you know up. What I'm saying? <laughs> so I was adding everybody on Facebook. Yeah, that shit yeah. 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 though. Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> for sure. years, but. Bruh, yeah. so so what I'm saying is back when we back when we were 22, we definitely didn't have everything y'all got. Yeah, 22, 23. But, yeah. I, but I will yeah. say we don't have the pre- we didn't have the pressures y'all got either. Man. I oh, feel yeah. like y'all niggas like yeah, there's so many young niggas between 19 and 25 be wanting the Lamborghini and the goddamn yeah, penthouse and like nigga, <laughs> we still could think about family and that shit. That 50 50 like, conversation never came up. Yeah, where's that? that nigga, not, it was it was that normal. Shit, it was yeah. nigga, that was, it was the norm. Like, bitch, what you talking about? We nigga, just graduated college. Right like, back in the day, a bitch get apartment with yeah. you like it wasn't nothing. Yeah. Like that's why they again <laughs> all the conversations y'all getting now. <laughs> if yeah. guess what we were doing at twenty two, it trickled down. Yeah. It trickled I down, feel like it's just too much money out here, so everybody feel like they got to get it. Yeah, I, I feel yeah. like you know I hate. I guess I'm gonna get at to y'all like coaching culture entrepreneur culture what it is now because you know we weren't born in this shit. a lot of us out there ain't discovered the entrepreneurship mm-hmm. like i was different because i didn't go to school so right after high school oh hey i'm jumping right into entrepreneurship yeah unheard of you a bum ass nigga for doing that yeah niggas didn't start getting on entrepreneurship till they graduated college in 2012 and they weren't getting the jobs that was promised to them and then they start hearing Mark Zuckerberg talk about he dropped out and all these white rich white people start saying how college wasn't important. Then people start talking about entrepreneurship. Yeah. Y'all were born into this shit. So that's when y'all get all these other entrepreneurs now. That I feel like, I feel like that kinda. shit. I feel like that shit in you, not on you, bro. Cause niggas, yeah. everybody can't do that shit, bro. Yeah. Everybody, it's everybody about, can't. It, it's exposure though. Like I'm, yeah, I'm just telling y'all, more. like Drive, nigga, hustle, I'm, I'm just telling that. y'all. You, I hear 22, I've never heard so many 20 year olds <clears throat> talk about real estate. We weren't talking about yeah. this shit, bro. We were so talking let me, about everybody. Let me, everybody nah, let me, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all why Eldridge, what he's saying is true, right? Because before we got access to all of this LLC, entrepreneur, real estate shit, uh, Eldridge remember this, network marketing. What? Nigga, if Nigga, y'all I, have never heard of network marketing, it's because- we were the first wave of entrepreneurs in the generation. We wasn't no internet. Wasn't nobody to tell us like, hey, oh. This, I just found this. This is an old school network nigga, shut marketing. shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know that? That's the fucking cover for the goddamn pop. <laughs> nigga, no need juice. <laughs> nigga, no my dad, so, <laughs> so my dad <laughs> was in like, damn, that every juice network. That saved everything. <laughs> nigga, that. Noni juice. Bruh, that. <laughs> nigga, you Haitian. You don't know about Noni juice? I said Tahitian. No, nigga. Uh, that, is nigga. Every nigga from the island swore by the oh, noni juice. Bro, they swore oh, by this shit. shit. They said you can mix that shit with soda. <laughs> you can mix that shit with juice. Bro, noni juice that was like was the like, original. That's all. Network but I, but I say all that to say, network marketing, marketing 
mm-hmm. was the last wave of network marketing. I don't know if y'all remember the coffee, Organo Gold, the coffee shit. Niggas was selling a bunch of coffee. Like, nah. bro, yeah, nah, network marketing. None about, none about it. So that's that what we was in. We was in entrepreneurship through network marketing, but nobody uh-huh. said, hey, get your business, get your LLC, you know, do your tax write off, like, do your real estate. We didn't learn none of that. Like, our, our, introduction, our introduction to network, I mean, entrepreneurship was independent contractor. And that's what you essentially were. Well, as a as you a network uh, marketer. Yeah, yeah. But nobody said write this off, write that off. It was just signing niggas up. If I if you sign three people up, mm-hmm. your shit free. You gotta buy all this product. It's like Mary Kay. Y'all niggas heard of Mary Kay. That yeah, shit's still a lot, right? Yeah. Y'all, Mary, y'all, y'all, y'all niggas might Mary Kay and Tupperware, the Tupperware but parties. Vector yeah. knives. Yeah, type shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. niggas, man, they be on go. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, <laughs> no, no count. Nah, the look, the nah, they got was, a business model, nah, nigga. The niggas that were on go were Primaric. Primaric? Nah, nah. Amway. I don't recall. Amway. You don't yeah, recall. Yeah, you never get a job at Wish from home. You Primary? never heard, bro. How the hold fuck? Hold on. Bro, yeah. hold on. Nigga, you never heard Primary? You never heard of Primary? They just had a the big ass convention. Nigga, you doing Primary? <laughs> yeah, you doing Primary yeah, now. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. Primary. It's basically what you yeah, doing. You know it's basically what you doing, but a bigger piece of the pie. It's a. No, it's a like it's no, a, this, I got no nah, because I dated a chick that did it. I can explain. Right, right. <laughs> like, like yeah, break this shit down. No, no it's it's and like look, insurance, so, but it's a bigger piece of the so pie. So Primerica is like the Walmart of financial uh um products. So like literally, you go to Primerica, you go to one company, they only sell you car insurance. Primerica sell you car insurance, uh, uh house insurance, wheel, uh, you name it. Mm. Pr- uh, you go to Primerica, you get it all, but you could mm. become a rep. So they were literally just signing up reps all over the city, bro. Word. I'm talking about halfway teaching these motherfuckers. People like they were definitely quantity over quality. That's why they're so deep now, <laughs> bro. I'm talking about yeah, them, no cap. Prime America. If you, I'm just surprised so, you never heard of them. Motherfuckers so, so deep. They just had a convention <coughs> at the Benz. Yeah, like yes, in August. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't heard of them. Bro, okay. they serious. Like I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I dated a shot that was getting some money on that shit once. Yeah, my sister did that. <laughs> so you saying that's saying. how y'all generation started with the entrepreneurship network marketing? Yeah, yeah. I say, I say, I say. Like, we didn't get the circumstances. When, and when different. you and YouTube wasn't what YouTube yeah. is. Nigga, that's all YouTube, I'm about to say y'all YouTube, welcome. YouTube, for that, like, bro, I'm telling you, like, when I tell y'all, y'all got it so much easier. Like everything was y'all, hard. Y'all say yeah. easy. I just wanted to say I you're welcome to y'all. Different no, no, y'all got different pressures. Yeah, but y'all got it easier in the sense yeah, of because like we because we, we had it easier than our parents. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like sure. my dad literally be watching me and my brothers, and he was like, "Man, some of this shit I didn't even know." And he's learning mm-hmm. right along with me. Yeah, because it because it, like bro, who knows about trust? And like how to break down and trust and leave it for your grandkids. Especially grandkids. if you ain't never had none. Mm-hmm. If you ain't exactly. never had none. So now you got to talk about money and leaving yeah. money. Me and my dad could watch the YouTube together. Before, that shit cost $9.99. You had to buy the DVD or go to the convention. Or hopefully somebody you knew went to the convention and brought the tapes yep. back. That's when the Les Brown era. Those, that's when okay, old okay. niggas had them big cassette Zig tapes. Ziglar. So, Nigga, so, all that shit. so you're saying it's easier. No you access. got more access to, yes. like, to the information. Yeah. Y'all had way, way more, way more access to access information. Because our encyclopedias didn't tell us right, how to bro. run a business. It y'all, just told us information. But, but that's they, facts. Y'all, bro, bro, bro like, back in the day, I'm oh, sorry. Back in the day, you actually had to be smart to be a scammer. <laughs> like, like now, yeah. there's literally scammer handbooks. Like, yeah. nah, bro. Yeah. Like, back in the day, yeah. Our scammers were gotta, real hackers. Nah, y'all scammers. No, I'm saying, but you still got to be smart to be a good scammer. Like, saying, just because no. you could do I'm, I'm saying, I'm I'm saying that even get in the game back in the day, you Honestly, had to be a real hacker. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me break it down like this. Let, you, let me break it down like, like this. In y'all school, y'all grew up things. with computers. Like, y'all yeah. grew up with computers having right. to learn the computer. It's right. weird that no, not no, have a computer for y'all. When we grew up, it was an optional thing. It right. was, if you were smart, you go to the computer class. If you wanted to, you go to the computer class. Right. If not, bro, I'm 36. It's still niggas in my age. My age. I got line brothers. Yeah. 36, 35, still don't have social media. Don't fuck with a computer. Because, because they can't fuck. They don't. They don't well, that's, they're not. Right. They're not I'm te- be honest. They don't know how to work technology. That don't make us no special just because them niggas are slow. Like, them niggas need to catch up. Like, even though we was born with it, <laughs> like, we still had to learn it. Just like, like they could learn it, and they grown, they could learn it. We was taught it. What I'm they telling grown you is, fuck, they go it's learn a difference between having to learn and we unlearn. We had to learn it. We have to unlearn first, 
then relearn some shit. But y'all, oh, y'all why? Need, yeah. Why because, y'all just merge it together? Y'all well, not did, because y'all, the shit was different. But y'all think just because we got access to information, that, that don't make a nigga know what to look for. Like, Plus, there's also like a, access. It's also right. like an yeah. overload. Uh, niggas, what I'm, what I'm, right what I'm to ask. Take it from yeah. a nigga that went to Google University. I went to Google University. All right. I, most of the shit I know, I learned in one of these books that I read. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know how much shit I learned right now with Coda just for YouTube? I only got listened to the whole video. Like, YouTube University, that shit is way, like, if you don't know now, it's because you don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm exactly. saying is, y'all was born into that shit. That was a first like, option. Like literally, you come out right now. You want to you want to you want to do stocks. Somebody gonna go do stocks. You want to do real estate. Nah, Again, it's a reason why. It's a reason why you, you weren't here. So you don't. It don't. No, it don't matter. The reason like, I disagree is because it's like it's about. It's not everything. Is not. I feel like absolute because just because we had it growing up in school, like us, this group of niggas right here. Yeah, we might have had it more easy because we kind of apply shit and we might go be go getters or whatever. But Every nigga was not just like, oh, since it's computers, like every nigga's not hella computer savvy or going on YouTube to find this shit. You know how to go on YouTube to find this shit because you will apply yourself you and want to look for that shit. Just like these other niggas keep talking about, them niggas slow because they ain't apply themselves and go look on YouTube well, to well, go try well, to learn well, this well, shit. Hold on, let me, first, first let me be clear. Hold on, first let me be clear. They're not slow. Because yeah. they came up in a different oh, area. Is your line, brothers. My bad. Not My just bad, that. That's, not just that. They can build cars. <laughs> and, and, and Kyle, uh, Kyle Pye. So I'm just trying to know that he yeah. Pye. But yeah. and you know better than anybody because you yeah. actually know how to work with your hands. You know so you know, them, yeah. so you know how to how learning how to build a house yeah. from YouTube and actually building mm-hmm. the house and being yeah. able to rebuild yeah. a car and yeah. rebuild an engine. Yeah, that's what them niggas is learning. You ain't got to go to YouTube to learn that shit. Word. But the other basic shit like us being, all of us being black. Mm-hmm. Period, right? Coming yeah. from where we come from, unless your parents had it, it's some niggas who's gonna be the first time homeowners in their generation. Yeah. There's still niggas in y'all generation that's first time college students, yeah. right? So even as we talking about as much as y'all learned mm-hmm. within a 13 year span, it's still niggas going to school for the very first fucking time. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. what y'all niggas have access to is iPhone or any kind of phone, any yeah. kind of phone, any kind of information. Open Wi Fi. See, yeah. y'all niggas don't realize, bro. Internet dial up, dial up internet would keep you from wanting to learn some shit. Yeah. I probably yeah. want to learn, yeah. but yeah, like, not... like, I want to learn the shit on the videos, yeah. but Keith had the patience to download shit and wait to watch it. Me, explain I ain't that, had no downloads. Explain that dial up for the young So, so yeah. Dial, yeah. dial up internet. Dial up you is... go to Waffle House and get a CD. There's a nigga running on it like this. So it's AOL. <laughs> AOL. Dial up is your telephone wire plugs into your phone and it actually dials a number yeah. to get you on the internet. There's no what's your Wi Fi code. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> and if a nigga picks up the phone while you on the dial up, it c- disconnects you. It disconnects so, you. So if your mom, oh yeah, ain't, you didn't have a cell phone like that. Your mama was on the phone? Yeah, because we're no You can't get on phones. the internet. I your sister's question. on the phone. I got six. It's six of us. Yeah. So let's just talk about it. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, but what's your question? This is my question because I heard Dustin kind of alluding to this point. Like, since this shit's so popular now, y'all think it's really easier for us? Because, like, like you said, everybody got this shit. So, like, since it's so easily accessible, it's like more competition, really, I, than anything nah, else. Nah, hold on, hold on. It's not no competition because of what you said. You still got lazy niggas. So since mm-hmm. y'all still got lazy yeah, niggas in y'all generation, at the, same, that the competition shit is out, is out the window. At the same time, I do feel same. like since we have access to self and like so much information, that shit kind of like an overload. Like, I you give you that. Like, no, that's I, pressure. But that's the pressure. That's, that's the pressure. That's what, that's what we talk about. That, on the pressure. That's what you're talking about pressure. Yeah, yeah like okay, pressure. Okay. So pressure okay. wise, like we definitely y'all have and like, comparison. Like yeah. Kyle just said, now you looking at niggas and you competing more. Yeah, yeah this nigga the same age as me in a fucking Bentley. In a penthouse, you don't know that his grandmama left him some some money. So the cool, you know what I'm saying? So you the, didn't cool know thing, the cool uh, remedy, that ass. Stop playing. The no, cool no, remedy ass. against Good that plug. though, the cool. Uh, <laughs> Good plug. I like that one. <laughs> hey, but look, but that ass, the though. cool remedy against that ain't got nothing to do with technology, none of that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like really finding confidence in who you are as a person. That's mm-hmm. a lesson a lot of niggas just ain't went back and learned. Yeah. And as black men. You got to learn that first. Like, okay. like, I'm trying to get on the internet, send an email one time. That's what that shit's on? That's, oh, that's nigga, that shit? Oh, hell nigga, no. this is what we used to have to sit and wait for. 
Yeah. Turn this is what we hear in the speakers. Turn this shit. Right. Yeah, nigga, y'all got it. Nigga, yeah. that shit up. This is you before we can even get I on the internet. Here. You got it. You got it, bro. But I would not want to like, say a list of that shit. That every right. time. Every time. Headphones. And look, every and, time. And if, your, if your mama just pick up the phone, quit saying, you gotta do that all the Don't over let you be trying to watch a YouTube. Don't let you try to download anything yeah. overnight. Yeah. And somebody pick up the phone, you wake oh up. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, bro, the I fact that death, y'all, y'all the fact that, bro, you gotta realize, y'all realize Spotify, iTunes, all that shit is here because a motherfucker got them shut the game down. It was started out of an illegal business. Napster. Napster. Yeah, well, Napster. Napster is the reason Dang why good. y'all got Spotify, iTunes, all of that shit. Damn. Because a motherfucker, because we were using Kazoo. Kazaa, Kazaa, we use Kazaa to download Lime wire. music. LimeWire. That's how Soulja Boy was, came I was up. With Lime wire, that's that's how Soulja Boy came up. Cause hey. nigga, I'm trying to download Fifty Cent, and Soulja Boy done put his he song. He put his name. Smallest market. Soulja Boy created Clip Beta. Soulja Boy started that bit. Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy started. Soulja Boy bended all that shit. No, but but for real, that's why the first nigga on earth. But but look, why you gotta respect him? Because a lot of shit he was. I mean, he go over the he top. He really was. But though. a lot of shit. He really he was the first nigga on Icebox, bro. And so, so hold on. Huh? When you think. <laughs> <laughs> so when you think about Soldier Boy, huh. he's like right there with y'all. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He fucked around and got to it early. Yeah, nigga but like don't that. Think about that, though. Yeah. That nigga they don't, is. They don't give him that like creator respect. Nah, yeah. He's that he, guy he's for doing real. A lot Can't of, kill. Uh, he made a lot of good business decisions. I know he came out with like some, some sort of game type shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't really know. <laughs> but like, I ain't never seen nobody play no Soulja Boy game. I ain't gonna count. I mean, I ain't tapping into this shit. Yeah. I mean, he a business man. But yeah, he, yeah. he's, he's him though. Soulja Boy thirty two. So that yeah. lets you know if Soulja Boy thirty two, and that nigga was getting it right out of sixteen, half of his life he's been in this life. So that y'all niggas is coming into more information. So it's an information overload. But y'all niggas got access. And I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Yeah. The type of nigga I was in school, if I had y'all access, I would not have went to college. I wouldn't even graduate high school. I would have got me a GED in 10th grade and got to it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Got to it. Kind of crazy. Why you say that? Into into what, though? Why that's crazy? Into everything, Why? bro. Everything. Like because, because I'm looking on YouTube, and from what I've learned, especially because any economy And crazy. it's all on your, your career. Oh. Even even about my what career, just cause even, even, let me tell you. So so I'm smart. So, so I'll be able to be done with school, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. First thing first, like El just told you, when we came up, a GED would not get you into college. Yeah. No way. Now mm-hmm. you could a GED would get you to into Georgia State. Like mm-hmm. any college will take a GED yeah. and an SAT score. So because and I'm I'm going off the premise of me being smart too and scoring high like I was in high school. So I'm doing all this shit. 10th grade, mm-hmm. now I'm on YouTube. That means I am 16, 15, 16. Mm-hmm. I still have the barrier of my parents, older people wanting to fuck with me. Like right now, if a young nigga came here at 16 and approached you, JJ, and said, look, I'm finished with high school. Like I got my GED. I'm about to go to college the next two years, but I want to learn some of this cozy collecting shit from you. At 16, nigga, he can do it. He can run with mm-hmm. you. He got yeah. a car. His mama, he, he ain't got to worry about no job. See, like, how now y'all niggas is entering the work field? Y'all niggas gotta go to college. Yeah, that, it's that's, a lot that's of some short shit. term shit. But what what is he gonna do? In the it's long short way? term if it what don't pop. Do the well, no, yeah, that's the same. Now, pop. Hold, this this, this is what, exactly what he said. It's short term if it don't pop because I got a two year window. I can go to college at eighteen and with my friends. This what I be trying to. Tell. I got two years. This what I be go to college with my friends still. This what I be trying to tell y'all. Like, this, what be, this what I be trying to tell y'all about that. And I'm window. talking. About, I'm not wasting two years. I'm I'm out they here trying to find options. I'm not talking about. Hot boy shit. I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm I'm basically a young wolf Actually at 16. Your head down, yeah. that work I'm popping, yeah. and this is what I be telling you. I did about. my work. I passed my GED. They, I scored I high. I don't know. It, it just depends on what type of people you have around you. But I, it's, but, a lot of, it's a but, lot of but, young. But, but, but listen, to what, what I'm saying. Which that gives, first, that, gives, yeah. that gives me the, that's giving me the other thing why y'all got it. Y'all got it uh, easier. Y'all niggas got me, and I'm gonna stand on my ten on that shit. Like I know. If I would have had, but that's just uh, us though. No, yeah. no, but I'm talking. We talk. We talk. We yeah, talk about y'all. We talking about y'all. But I'm just saying, if I had a young nigga connect to the old niggas that literally was only focused on trying to make sure y'all win, nigga, that shit over. And, with, and see, I'm talking about in current yeah. times. Like, bro, I'm 16, GED scored high on my SAT, so on my paperwork when I walk in the black man lab and I'm looking for the brother to influence me. 
I could tell man, I mean, hey, look, I just, I just graduated. And okay. I scored this high on yeah. SAT. I want to see what a day in the life of the lawyer is. And at 16, nigga, I ain't got shit. I can, well, see, what I'm saying is the older you get, the more responsibilities you get, the more the, life affects you. The less time the younger you, got, you are. Bro, when I, bro, I'm going to tell you something. When I was 15, I got my first job. And between 15 and 18, nigga, I probably had about 15 jobs. Bro, I was doing from job to job. Just because I didn't need the money. I wasn't paying bills. Yeah. I wanted to know what it was at Babies R Us. I wanted to know what it was at Chuck E. Cheese. I wanted to sell some shoes at DTLR. I and, wanted different industries and guess to what? see. Essentially, he was wasting time. A lot of I mean, it is. depends on what type of path you want to take. Like, it's a lot of young niggas in sports. Nigga. If you in sports and you committed, you don't got time to do that. Yeah, you wasting your well, time. That's like, a different path. Right, time, see, I'm ta- I'm, no, no. See, I'm talking me specifically being smart, knowing what I know now. Now, if I was in sports, that's a different path. Like I was, right. I've been playing football nineteen years. That keeps you in school. I, that's what I'm saying. I couldn't have had no job until I got done playing because that shit is a job. But now imagine you coming mm-hmm. up in high school with the NIL option. See, you don't get that. See, see, see they got the generation. Easy. They got it. Easier but that shit is it easier though? You think it's easier, yeah. but it's, it's different shit you got to worry about. That's and that's what we're saying. That's it's it's pressure. That's different pressures. Yeah. But the fact that the op- there are people that literally like life is supposed to get easier every generation. So let me yeah. start off by saying so that. it ain't a bad thing. It's supposed to get easier. Yeah. Supposed to get like we're supposed pressions. to have bread, yeah. but you gotta realize bread. there's there's niggas that's like bro. I gotta wait. I gotta wait all the way. I gotta wait all the way till I get to the league to legally get paid. Nah, fuck that. Like now. These little nigga now, yeah, it, is it pressure? Yeah, but they got the option to get because of what right. you're talking about, saying? JJ. It is fucked up. You got to play yeah, basketball, football, leave your college, still study, and come back, and the school is re- running up the bag off of you. You yeah. should be able to benefit from that, and For unfortunately, sure. your generation didn't, yeah. but the next generation will, which makes it a little easier on right. that aspect. But with it's that, also, with that, it's a it's also a downside because it's a lot of niggas doing it for the bread instead of doing it yeah, for the a, money. It's a lot harder to the, stay focused. Well, that's that's hip hop. That's hip hop. Yeah. That's, what, that's yeah. what we're going through yeah. with rap right now. Yeah, for so sure. So that's just a natural. That's capitalism. Yeah, that's come out like so. Alabama. Alabama ain't the same because the NIL shit dropping. Niggas getting bread. Yeah, niggas ain't hungry. About it. Talk feel about me? it. Okay. You feel me? So it's all right. Hey, but look, but look, sound good. But look, I ain't thinking about it. But look, fuck that. I'm getting mine. Nick Saban been getting money. Look, right. matter of fact, speaking, okay, but speaking, how, look, how far look, can you get thinking spe- like that? Hold on. Yeah. Speaking of fuck that, look what your boy just did. All right, Dion. let's talk about Dion. Yeah, nah, fuck Dion. How y'all feel about that? All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right on the road. As, oh, as a player, look, bro, with it, hold on. I just oh, want to. I just want to vote. You would it? Yes. Hold oh, on. Oh, let me. Let me. You the people for the people out there. So what has happened is Dion Sanders, the current coach at Jackson State, has now taken a job, more money. Mm-hmm. At uh, Colorado, three hundred thousand to uh five million. Yeah, yeah. And, and that was like one yeah. million paid up, yeah. one million a year for the next four years versus up front. Right. So right. that's 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 the landscape we're looking at right now. So Deion Deion, Sanders, Deion, and I'll leave it and go to the changed the culture. He's not wrong. So right. do you agree? Yes or no, Cal? All right, I need a little more context. So JJ said he's not wrong because I'm. A, I need a little more context, but I yes, disagree. yes or no, disagree. Disagree. I agree to a certain extent. Okay, I, I'll get my story on that. Let me let me tell you why. I don't why. think it's I don't think it's wrong, bro. Let me let me you don't know, you don't think it's wrong. I don't think it's wrong. I, like, I, what the I, fuck? Like I think this nigga is a, a he was coach. on that he's HBCU movement. He though. was on the he was on the. I guess let's finish. Then we'll get his own. I don't think it's wrong for Deion Sanders. Yeah, he's his own yeah. man, bro. It, like, it, what you say, like, like, it ain't wrong. He got kids to take care of. It ain't wrong. And I'm and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why I don't think it's wrong. One, one, we don't know what's going on behind. The scenes on that yeah. shit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I know personally how hard it is to work for HBCUs on the outside end. So mm-hmm. HBCUs got a lot of work to do when it comes to red tape and all that shit. We're gonna start there. But two, this motherfucker is who can say they play in the league of football and the baseball at the same time? Right. He's a true competitor. He has dominated HBCU. There's nobody else can show that nigga went undefeated. He done showed you all the out awards he can win. He done killed this shit. Now, I want to show you, and you got to realize in his coaching career, his whole coaching career has been compliment, but yeah, I see you doing a little league. You killing it over there, but that's a little league. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I seen you coach this team, but that traveling team, that was good, but that's that. So he get to college. Yeah, I see you undefeated, but that's HBCUs. Mm-hmm. So now he got to show y'all niggas, okay, let me get on the big stage. Now this nigga about to be playing USC. He about to be playing all these major colleges. So he about to show y'all, this is what it looks like 
Right. This me. This ain't been luck. Yeah. This ain't been flack. I'm yeah. about to show y'all that a black man is capable of coming and running the platform. And y'all got to look at what he's doing. One, he's going to open up the respect to black coaches on that level. Mm -hmm. But two, he just set up a coach to take over that school. The coach that he's reckoned that been working under him, that man about to get more money than any other coach in HBCUs. He about to get a better job. He left him with a better stadium. He set them up. And he's not encouraging none of his players to go to the portal on camera. Yeah, they yeah, hitting, I they did hitting, see they that. hitting the phone on portal camera, yeah. on, on camera. That. But let me let yeah, me tell y'all why. Now, I don't think he now what, what'll be five if his son stayed? Now if his son he stayed, that'll be five. But look, as a football player, and anybody who's playing football, they know if you're in college, if your coach is there, they are there to move up. Especially if you're not at the highest level, like the Alabama's and Georgia. They're there to do good so they can get a higher job. Like uh, it's everybody's goal is what, to make it to the next level. What uh what level of football? Did, did you play D one? Yeah, I played D one. Okay, yeah, so, I, I so did, did you experience that with a coach? Like you saw your coach there yes. and you were like, you could tell he was gonna move. If up. you if you if you have a coach that that does good, not to, it's a good chance they're gonna get a better job offer and go to that school. You can't be mad because they're trying to reach their goals, go to their dreams, like. Just like the transfer portal, like you don't like the situation, shit, and you doing good, so you know you can do better. Hit the portal, shit. See, so I, I gonna fuck with you. See, I got new information because I didn't know that he already has stated that he was going to be moving forward. See, I thought he was under the premise of I'm doing an HBCU move. I'm taking half my salary to give it back to the he, school. He gonna try to I'm be a coach in the league, and he can't jump from Jackson State to the fucking. Denver Broncos. You got to yeah. go to Jackson State, then he can go to Colorado, then he can go to P five, like a real, like a. No, I, I like I get it. Now. I, I think that's the, should be the yeah. blueprint. I think more. That's what I'm saying. You shouldn't, you shouldn't context. jump. You shouldn't jump to like the PWIs. If you are a football player, you want to get into the league coaching. Start off with some of the HBCUs. Like bring your yeah. talent to an HBCU program. Bring some of that national football league uh, stats, playbooks, all everything that you got. People that's gonna rock with you. People that's gonna bring you money. You know, because I saw it happen right. at Fort Valley, and that was my first time understanding politics in college. Like, Bro, oh, we had a, bigger, a whole politics we had a bigger system, stadium right. now. Exactly. Oh shit! Because that old raggedy ass wooden stadium, even though we love it, it's nostalgia, right? Nigga, they ain't gonna bring in the That's ESPN. They ain't so, gonna bring in so the what, Bucks. So okay. So I think a lot of people's decisions in uh, like anger with uh, Dion, they don't know, goes out the way. Once they come back and do it again without them, and I, th I, I think I, once I, you see the system, once you see the program going, you got to respect like other niggas. The niggas who mad, they don't know they haven't Pioneer played football because one, yeah, as that's what it is. That's how football is. You dominating, you dominate for years. You think the coach not gonna feel complacent? He's gonna want to go up and go to another level and show his stuff and build his I, resume. I, I think we gotta that's be real as business. people and understand what HBCUs are too. HBCUs aren't the a uh, prize sports no. meal. Like, yeah, if you fire, they will find you. But to me, that's the line anywhere. If you are that fire, no matter what school you go to, what program you're in, mm -hmm. the, the league is going to find you. Outside of that, I like the fact that this is going to bring more eyes to an HBCU, bring you more money to Jackson State, but let us pump out these engineers, these teachers, these doctors. Like, I'm not looking for no HBCU to now be – Alabama or Georgia, exactly. all the best football players come out of Albany State. All the best time, basketball. So, so, so is he you mad? Is he so? <laughs> Y'all think he lost? If I'm an athlete, <laughs> if <I'm, laughs> Y'all did whatever. <laughs> Fort comes. Valley. <laughs> Fort, Fort, Check the vlog. The vlog <laughs> coming soon. Exactly. What was you, what was you saying? Uh, if you so an athlete, if you if you an athlete, if you Travis Hunter, are you mad? That's, no. that's, the, that's the question. There. Is he mad? No, are you mad if you travel? Because you came there to be coached by Prime. You didn't come there for their facilities. Niggas. You probably came for, you probably seen some shoulders at home coming, but you came for Prime. See, are it, you mad? It's, it's, a different, it's a different age in college football. You can slide now. Back If this, if you did this shit back then, got all them niggas at Jackson State and there was no transfer portal, hell yeah, then he's going to be mad. But yeah. now, niggas yeah. already gone to Prime Time stage. Niggas already done. Show themselves so like Travis Hunter can go damn near any school he wants to if he hit the portal. Y'all yeah, y'all yeah. niggas ain't y'all crazy as fuck. Y'all think he gonna stay without Dion? Y'all y'all ain't talking yeah. about the other shit though. What? what? You think he's sliding? Stuff right man. now. While the game what? was going on, somebody came in and stole every darn thing I had in my locker room. Man, that shit also, old. Niggas. Well, well, no. It's what I'm niggas. saying is, 
He's been know. dealing with this, but and they, they just found bodies in the trunk down there in Jackson. But they came, mm-hmm. they came out there. Somebody just moved it. They came out to somebody. He, nah, that 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 no, nobody this, stole. No, this is what I'm talking. I get the bodies, but they I'm just saying bodies, that. All right, they I found just, bodies. I ain't in stacking Trump. shit though. I ain't found, stacking shit. We stacking it. Let no, me tell you. No, no. Let me tell you why I had to stack that, it. No, no. Let no, no, me tell you why I had to stack it. Because y'all niggas who didn't go to HBCUs don't be knowing how the, the experience is. Man, I don't not. Jack, I don't not. I went to Black Atlanta, so I don't give a fuck. What y'all talking about? I went to Westlake. That's an HBCU. Anytime I anytime I see that's why that's why you can't never. Look, you got the shit on. I said, look at the shoes, look at the shoes. <laughs> but they be having HBCUs like in the middle of the hood. Like, see, I went to Albany State. Now they I, do. I, I go to um, more of the Brown now. Hey, shout like, out. Yeah, shout out to both of them. But it's like going down there, it's like the culture completely different. So him talking about- You scared? Like, Nah. Nigga try to say he got in the middle of the hood. Brown now. <laughs> but um, nah, better what I'm saying, you know that that whole three bodies in the trunk situation, that, that shit do be real. So I don't know if you- That Mississippi though, bro. Get, yeah, that's Mississippi. Mississippi crazy. Yeah, the country is crazy. But, but see, I think I think we're all saying the same country thing. I think what bullshit. Dion did was bring the eyes to the HBCU, which he did. Bring the money to the he HBCU, did. and over the next gotta, ten years, we're gonna see. Now, if you are a professional athlete, will you be running to HBCUs? Maybe mm-hmm. it might change if now Dion not the only coach. Maybe we get some like maybe the next year or, or three, all HBCUs are ran by X. NFL player, and now you're getting, but you know, a Mike Vick. I got a crazy, I, feel, I got a crazy it's, for it's JJ. Like more than, it's more than that that go into making niggas want to come. But why, why would I want to go to a program uh, that maybe gets a million dollars a year <laughs> compared to Alabama get a hundred million dollar goddamn facility? Like, why would I? I, I got well, you know, well, no. What I'm saying, no, I'm talking about the people who are the star athletes. Now, if you're just playing. Yeah, come on to HBCU because nigga, you ain't finna go to the. I league. mean, them star athletes, they want to go. JJ, to where, like, they got the every best nigga, technology. every hold on, just, hold on, just, you you a football player? Every nigga that came out of high school thought that they was gonna go to go to college and be in the NFL. Yeah, like you thought that's, you was going to the that's NFL. Most, that's most niggas' yeah. goal. You thought you were going to the NFL? Yeah, that was my goal. Okay, okay. Like okay. you knew, you kept it real. I, that was my goal. Like right, that's, that's what he played. I mean, football. that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Like yeah. I want to make if it to the highest level. I want yeah. to just be the be the best version of me. That's yeah. that's my goal. Shit. But this nigga was working though. Like this nigga, nigga yeah, was I was actually grinding type. Anybody shit. who for know real. me know I be got down. I be grinding for yeah. real, for real. Yeah. But I Ain't just no regular nigga. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Don't you got your Dodgers too? My masters. Oh yeah. my bad. See, I, I mean niggas got two degrees, so niggas yeah. have. Yeah. Them, so. Yeah. Don't so play with him. Got them cheerleaders in this bitch. Real niggas. Real niggas. Hey, yeah. This nigga playing Pokemon. Nigga said he wanted to be the best. That's funny. That's stupid. And now Corey had me laughing. Nah, but I mean, most niggas, most niggas' dreams playing college football is to make it to leave. But that's what's up. Once you, once you in it, you, you, you kind of know if you have a shot or not. It's a lot of niggas. So when did you get in there and realize like, yeah, I ain't gonna make it? Oh, that's a good question. Now we pied. That's a good question. But now we pied. Like that I moment. I, I can tell you the moment when I knew I wasn't going to the league. I mean, all right. So I came in. I came in my freshman year. My freshman year, I low key, I went crazy. I had like 50 catches, like 500 yards. So I was like, this shit kind of, this shit kind of sweet. Nigga. I'm like, okay, it's cool. Sophomore year, had a down year. I had like 30 catches, like 300 yards. It wasn't, it wasn't crazy. But it's like, I'm like, okay, this shit a little harder than you expect. Same QB from the year before? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, but it was an, it was a new offense. Like it was more people. Like like niggas don't understand. Like it's a different team every year. Every year, so it's you like, got to build around the team. And look, if you go crazy your first year, niggas gonna scheme against you, and you they not they not going for it next year. So it's like it's hard to have consistent niggas like, meeting years. other teams. Yeah, other teams. Other, yeah, yeah. So they were scheming on your ass. Yeah, if you go crazy, yeah, you watch for if, yeah, if you yeah, job, no, no, no. If, if you if you get 150 yards on these niggas this year, next year they're scheming. We, we watching so, tape. Yeah, so, 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 hold on, hold on. so. You the X or you the Y? I mean, I was really just saying. You ain't know this nigga. Exactly. I, I know the difference. <laughs> this nigga, exactly. So, well, what's the X receiver? What's the X receiver? Yeah, what is that? X receiver all the way not down. He, 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 he like the main receiver, right? That boy be playing and Madden. Then, <laughs> then you got the Y. Then you got the Y receiver. You got the, you got the Y receiver to got down. He like the second in command. Rip. In then command. The, then the command. Z, Z the nigga that be in the slot. First of all, every offense is different, but X is usually backside receiver. Yeah. Z you know is saying? usually that's basically what I just said. No, no, that's, 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 <laughs> no it's not. Roll the tape back. Roll the tape back. I said the same shit. Every offense is different, so you can't really. I, I knew. I knew I wasn't going to the league. High school, Se- seventh grade. Damn. 
Early. That boy early. Early. That's good. You know, look, you know what I knew though? Nigga Pete. Look, I knew I would go to the <laughs> I would go to leave. Nigga Pete in middle school. Twelve. <laughs> that nigga was twelve. Now I glow I didn't know glowing up in high school because you get better when you get competition. But like in middle school they do the like Kip Return tryouts. Man. Oh, man, I could not get that got. I could not get that ball, man. Yeah, you can tell when niggas ain't built for it, bro. That ball, that kick return, because I'm a monster on kickoff. So I be thinking a nigga like me coming, cause they used to put me on that outside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so you want them crash dummy? You heard that? Footsteps. That nigga was scared to get hit like hell. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, that footsteps. Nigga, 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 like, like, like I be thinking there's a devil <laughs> on the other side, like I used to be on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Come kick off. In college, is niggas that play Catch. just kickoff and is they head hunting. They crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that what I'm saying. So it's like they crash out. I'm like, bro, and I used to be, I used to be that nigga. Fair catch. And if you were if you were dangerous on that offense and I got a clear shot on you, I would take it. I'm that nigga. Like yeah, if you, you was, was a weapon over there, sure. yeah, I would I would gnash on that. To answer shit. your question, I feel like niggas niggas subconsciously know like if they have a shot of making like even going to college, like niggas know like subconsciously mm-hmm. type shit. But I mean, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I done played on a couple of D one on two D one teams, and it's some niggas that should not have been out there. It's, it's some, it's some mm. sorry ass niggas on every level. You can talk to any football player, you know. It's well, that's that's hard. It's that's some niggas trash that, niggas everywhere. Niggas that want to get in the game. But that's man. but that's hard niggas work. that try. That's niggas that ain't scared to try. You know, no, what I'm saying? no. It's it's a lot of niggas that just just there because of the size. Like if you if if you a six five two fifty freshman, you get offers off rip. Yeah. Not even yeah. seeing not even seeing you touch the field. Yeah. You get offers just because yeah. the, Drewski, the potential. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. funny yeah, as fuck. But it's like it's off of just <laughs> potential. So it's just like yeah. But niggas that niggas know if you ain't if you ain't play in three years, nigga, you know you ain't going to the fucking league. Knowing what like, you yeah. knowing what you know now, what are you changing thing. about your journey? See, I ain't changing nothing. I feel like I made the right decision. I feel like I wouldn't yeah. be where I'm at if I if I changed anything. But you feel like that go back to yeah. high school, you know. With the, Looking oh, back, I would have I low-key would have reclassed. So I would have had another year and I would have been with a different head coach. Coach Fed, if I if I play with Coach Fed, yeah, nigga, my recruiting would have been completely different. Cause I was the only D one nigga in my class. Like before mm-hmm. my class, well, the class after me was a real like they that got real? like eight niggas going D one. I didn't know that. Yeah, what? Yeah. yeah, I was the only nigga D one in my class. Reclass, you mean in high school? Yeah, that's yeah, the cheap. You would have failed. No, 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 I'm young, so like I was, I was one of the youngest motherfuckers in my class. I'm about class. to say, like, what you? No, no, no. How that work? Thirteen, I would, I would, I graduated <laughs> seventeen. If I would, if I would reclass, I would have went back, uh, stayed another year, and graduated eighteen. Oh, you could have had yeah, one like of those. New you could have had one of those senior years, but you ain't doing nothing. You just LeBron got, James. You just go back. You just go back. I'm and LeBron did. You just yeah. You feel me? So I, I could have did that, but I mean. I told, I, I, ain't mad at my I told John to see if he got any, my brother-in-law, I said, see if we got any eligibility left. <laughs> Go out there to Colorado, <laughs> get a PhD. It's, a, it's some 26-year-old <laughs> niggas on the team, bro. Shit. It'd be the nah, best I, in I, HBCUs. Um, who's nah, the NBA quarterback yeah, 25. Like, yeah. but, so, but, yeah, damn. so you really do, I mean, you answer this. I about to say, so every nigga does, you know what, I think my brother felt the same way too. You're right. Niggas every nigga that goals. hoop or play football, they really do be thinking, Especially if you go to college, like exactly. you made it from high school to college, and your college is mm-hmm. decent, you kind of do think like, well, maybe I could even like a low level uh, practice squad, G League, yeah, like JB waiting. Cool. We had uh, dig through the crates. We had Chubb on. Yeah, you know yeah. Chubb talked about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, but there's it's different levels of professional. Chubb, it's, it's Brandon the NFL. Chubb, Nick Chubb oh. cousin. Okay. It's the NFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah nigga. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, nigga. Like, yeah. Big shit on the podcast. Big big podcast. Yeah, but it's, it's niggas can still go professional, like it's NFL, CFL, XFL. Now the USFL and the XFL here, but now XFL. Now, what, what about regular XFL. niggas, man? Reg, like regular niggas, XFL, regular, like regular niggas. Play, you, you, you was a regular pro. You was a regular nigga like me. Like, is it anything? Oh, damn. Why you doing my, uh, why you doing uh, my nigga I like that? I mean, I mean, regular. When I say regular, outside of sports, it's a is, art. is there anything you thought you was just gonna be the greatest in, the best in? Yeah, I still feel like that. Playing this piano, bro. I still feel like I'm gonna be one of them. Like, you were doing that in high school. Playing the piano? Yeah. That nigga was selling nah, candy. I, I really wasn't focused. I really <laughs> that nigga was selling candy. He's not, he not lying, though. That's yeah, like, yeah. He's not lying. Though. Wasted but, it for tension. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Ass kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you want to be the best in? <laughs> yeah, that's the everybody question. Right. I want to know to Corey there. What you want? So, you want to be the best piano player? Um, the best shit. composer? I mean, I feel like 
The best is like perspective. Good, I, I want to be the best I can be. Nah, to, to nah, what, what, what's, what's that sound? What's that sound? My mama said, there's always somebody better. No, mama, somebody got to be the best. <laughs> So, I mean, so, but I, yeah. I grew Somebody up, gotta I grew be up a competitor, so I'm always gonna think I'm like, you feel me? Like, everybody <laughs> gotta think like that. Yeah. Oh, All right, after yeah, this, we'll do that, that walking shit. What's, what's that walking what's, what's that shit called? Walk ball. What's, what's that called? Walk walk ball. Ball. That's, oh, that's yeah. the oh. funniest hey. shit I see football players do. I could have went D1 too. I was locking this nigga on the. Oh, uh, walk ball. This nigga up. <laughs> when he went to Cancun, I'm locking this nigga up. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's be for real. Yeah, we got the tape. Oh, my God. <laughs> this nigga in that Pokemon shit. <laughs> this nigga, nigga, nigga the ball, up. the ball was a bottle of sunscreen. That's how he. That's the type of shit. <laughs> he like, talking about locking him up. I was, I was in the whole round. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. No. I ain't gonna lie. I love when I beat a nigga that do something at his shit. Oh God, I be mad bro, at that shit. shit. I love oh, that yeah. shit, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm big headed in the mud. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga start winning. I'm, tr- I'm sorry. I'm trying no. hard. Nigga. I'm no, he's going look, crazy. Not, look, not a D one coming oh, out for nigga. sure. For <laughs> sure. Nigga. Hey, this program work now, nigga. Run that, run that. Like beating your homeboy that ball and basketball in a quick, quick game to seven. It, bro. Nigga, and I never play you again. You know bro, who you are, shit, nigga. Bro, that's you know? how I feel on a, <laughs> yeah. on a different thing. Like, not, not in football. This nigga, uh, I was in high school, freshman year with this nigga, AJ Terrell, who played for the Fox right now. Oh yeah, I What's feel like, so smart. This nigga was cheating off my paper, bro. And got down school. I was like, yeah, this nigga. Oh, that nigga owe you some money. Hell yeah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. See, that shit homie. piped my head up, bro. I couldn't beat him in football, but I like, yeah, this nigga dumb. Fuck that nigga. Man, niggas, <laughs> niggas like AJ Terrell, niggas knew he was going to the league. Like, yeah, like, no niggas, cap. Like, no I'm cap. saying, like, niggas know. Like, niggas yeah. subconsciously know. But that also, nigga niggas, niggas get better, though. So it, it's a lot of work. Hard work definitely beats talent. Me, me and Keith were talking about this. Like, you never hear the perspective of, like, the you know y'all know the movie Rudy y'all ever heard of the movie I think nah so. all right Rudy is the old school ass movie football they literally movie. made yeah, a movie. movie they made a movie about a white boy that sucked <laughs> literally chill. <laughs> chill. 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 you wild chill. you wild <laughs> y'all niggas literally pause no bro like, but li- literally the whole movie is about a a white boy it's a legend of this white boy that was just trash in football mm. like. <laughs> But for real, like, look up the movie Rudy. But I was like, man, he said something about he can. He said, hey, my son suck at a certain age. I ain't letting him play no more. You I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to switch sports. I'm like, shit, you wanna try baseball, <laughs> soccer? Nah, man. bro. You gotta do something. Because it's two levels, because it's also two levels of it, too. It's like when you're playing in your like boy age, boy body, and then you know you mature in high school, and it's like, Oh shit, nigga! Let's Breath. let's try this one more time because you got a little weight. Cause like my brother was like that. Like he he grew, but he never put weight on. So it was like, nigga, you ain't doing football because mm. you didn't put that weight on that you needed, and you're not it, trying to. Cause the other part is you're not trying to either. You're not trying to lift weights and shit. It's like Isaiah. You just want to hoop. My nephew Isaiah. That's a good I one. I knew he didn't. I knew he wasn't a ball, mm. but his dad was, and he wanted to connect with his dad. Like his dad, like the little. And Isaiah shoot. got that height too. Like, but his dad didn't have that height. His yeah. dad just ended up quitting uh, uh basketball and hate, regretted that decision. Going back to decisions you regret. Yeah. So like Isaiah was playing ball, and I'm like, man, this nigga don't really like this. Yeah. And then when I knew he didn't like it when he was towering over everybody and he wasn't dominating. Yeah. I'm like, this nigga not no baller, bro. I stopped yeah. going to the game. Yeah. I'm like, man, like nigga, you I, supposed I, to be dumb. You supposed to be dumb. Ain't had that dog like, in him. Like, 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 I can't, that dog. I like, you can't not get gonna, no goddamn hoes. They like, like, JJ, you not going to make your son play football? Are like, you going to make... Because, like... Okay. I'm saying, I mean, yeah, I keep mean, it thousand percent. That, like, niggas got to make their kids gonna, do shit. I'm going to make them do it, but if he end up not fucking with it, I'm just going to try another sport. Like, yeah, he, he see, that, be athletic. That's like. how I feel about baseball. Like, Cone get to try for baseball in grade, for to get it cracking. I already got King on but, that nigga. Already got his swing. I right. feel like if but you, they don't do it, they don't you feel do like it. you gotta play a sport. Mm. Yeah, you gotta play a sport. You got to. Cause I, every I'm, a, I'm an athletic sport. nigga, so I feel like he's gonna want to do it. Like, I mean, right. every every <laughs> kid should play a sport. Period. <laughs> I, I don't, yeah. like, if you look up yeah. to me, I I feel like he will want to play football. Now that. college hey, level, I'm not. Hey, I'm not expecting him to say. Hey, that's the same thing Magic Johnson said. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Damn, Damn Jordan. Yeah. That's crazy. You right fucked up for that one. Hey, that one D Wayne. He's gonna want to. That nigga wanna. You know what, man? I don't know. Nigga doing runway. Oh, D Way, D Way about to take that W. Where is it? Where is it? Joanna Man. Shit.
Yeah. I forgot this thing fine. Nah, I forgot this thing fine. I gotta address this shit though. Like, but no, uh, I see my, I see but no, I do having a good time. I'm trying to see what my boy Takori, you straight? I'm cooler. That nigga checking his phone. What the hell say, bro? What she say? She ain't say nothing, man. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. Speaking of her, man, I'm fucked up. What did she say? Kiki oh, got man. pregnant, man. Oh man, I'm telling you, man, that shit fucked oh, me up, bro. Shit, I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. I so look, too, I'm watching SNL, and before she unveils the pregnant, you know, she got them things just sitting up yeah, there. Yeah, that bitch it with time out, right? So I'm like, yeah. hold on, Kiki Palmer ain't never had titties like that, like, yeah, pregnant, pregnant. like pregnant. yeah, exactly. So, so I'm looking, I'm like, damn, did she get some work done or some shit? And then she said, pow, bust that belly. I said, oh, yeah. Man, oh, yeah. and she, then what, what nigga, always messed me up about down. Kiki? Like, I'm, I'm telling y'all, man. Kiki said she grown, she 29, she had sex. No, but you know, let me tell you what Kiki about to do, though. You about to see a new trend of professional young girls just going ahead and committing, just having a baby. Mm. Nah, nigga, that's, that's so? kind of been happening. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, what I'm, <laughs> what I'm <laughs> saying is- Three times. Now it's it's this now it's waves to it. It's waves to it. It's it's a it's a wave girl that been having a baby, but there's another wave that's the fine auntie. They committed to being the fine them fine aunties about to start having babies. The rich aunties, the ones that signing up to be the rich auntie, they about why, to start having Why you say that? You that, feel like they like look up to Kiki or something? It's just trends, you know what I mean? They just be following the celebrity trends. Nah, uh, let me tell you, cause see Kiki's still with her dude. So yeah. that'll happen for now. How long they how long they been together? Nigga, yeah, May yeah. twenty May twenty twenty one, they met each other. Damn, damn. God, damn. 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 What? The fuck? Hey, that nigga hurt for real. <laughs> I mean, he know they anniversary. Nigga. <laughs> that nigga know they anniversary. <laughs> he ain't even let that motherfucker <laughs> breathe. <laughs> May it was, I was about, May thirteenth. I, I was about I was about to lie, but you know, a couple of years or so. <laughs> May twenty first, twenty twenty. They met each other. That nigga was sending them an anniversary card. That shit fucked me up. <laughs> nah, she should do, but that's what's so fucked up about this shit. Um, Have you met her before? Yeah. Yeah, me too. In, in like Changes reality, our life. Like, like, yeah, yeah, man. My uh, my cousin, sister, little brother, uh, clean their pool. <laughs> what the fuck? Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. What the fuck? <laughs> so you, know, you always had it till you added an extra person. Oh, person. God. He took it down. <laughs> nigga's cow. Nah, nah Kiki but, is but, solid, though. Yeah, Kiki's solid. I, I, I fuck with Kiki. I, nah, I don't fuck with her. I was disappointed, no too, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I just wanted her. I don't fuck with I, her, but I fuck with her. I would have been okay if I lost her to a to a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? If I would have lost it, if Tariq would have got my girl, I would I understand. Then they give money. <laughs> Tariq. Tariq St. Pat. All, nigga, all you gotta do is take care of it. You, you wanna die if that nigga took your bitch? But I, I'm, I'm mad, mad, I'm mad, to bro, I'm mad at a regular nigga, bro. Not only he regular, he like like the brother of but a- But she been fucking with regular niggas. Bro, that's what made me mad about her. It could have been yeah, you. I'm just, happy. I'm just happy he black. Like you know it could have been you is what you're saying. Yeah. Bruh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Nah, it should have been you is what you're saying. Yeah, what I'm telling you. I feel you, bro. Like, I feel you, bro. We all would have we all would have been up. I yeah. feel you. I feel you though. Mm-hmm. All would have been up. Mm-hmm. Nigga. Like, hey. that, I, all I said I needed to meet her one time. Yeah. Word. So now I gotta just sit on my set. Now you know my number two. You really ain't met her. My number two is Ari Lennox. Mm. Oh yeah, you can get that one. Yeah. See, I don't think about Ari Lennon. I love though. how regular niggas talk about celebrities. Like, <laughs> she she did. You got it. Yeah, you like, we know her. Like. You got it. Don't even worry. <laughs> I listen to the album. Yeah, you like, singing shit to the that, 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 inter- that interview on Breakfast Club, let me know. Okay. She gettable. Okay. Yeah, you can yeah, let yeah. go in there, what you're saying. Yeah, she gettable. Yeah, no cap. Yeah. I ain't never thought she was ugly. I thought she was ugly. Who? Ari Lennon? She's fine. Yeah, yeah, she, but she regular. She I like that she, she regular. She not regular. She fine to me because she could sing. Well, right let there. me ask y'all this. So we talking about the uh, R&B artists. What about the rap artists? What about Glorilla? What's she at on the list? Six, six. What we ranking? We ranking? What's the yeah. list? Like, if you smash a pass? That nigga took a shook his head. Smash a pass? Took a shook his head. I'm passing. You passing on Glorilla? I'm passing Glorilla, yeah. Passing. I'm passing. Yeah, ain't, ain't, I like the girl with some ass. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. What you mean? Glorilla, I can imagine. Goddamn missionary. You know how her eyes look spread it out a little farther on her head? Like... I bet that shit look crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You been yeah. thinking about that she shit. She is Nigga been flying. Is she a Sagittarius? Yeah. Is she, I'm not here. You said what? Is she a Sagittarius? Is who? Is she a Sagittarius? Is that who? What that guy do? That boy wants a Sagittarius. I'm trying to figure out. I don't think it's ass. Like, like, like what you mean? Oh. <laughs> this nigga's yeah, deep. Yeah, this nigga. He deep. Yeah. 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 Astrology ass. Is she a Sagittarius? You don't fuck with it? Nah, I don't even fuck with no sad. So why? What sign she got to be for you to fuck with it? What sign are you? Gemini. So what sign she gotta be for you to fuck with it? She gotta be like an Aries or a Leo. 
Bro, Aries, okay. that's the worst sign love, in the world. Yeah. It, yeah, I heard some bad things. Bro, yeah. I like Gemini. I, but that's, I got a whole episode about my, Aries. That's terrible. We're like, who? Gemini. That nigga is terrible. Y'all just, is, y'all just, 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 y'all
to us. Right. Like, bro, you can't even we... leave the house past A. You check the <laughs> first fuck of all, you mad at me That shit right there, you a, you a fucked up individual. Take it. That's all that empowerment shit. Come on now. See, what happens is like, <laughs> bro. Stay with your mom, dude, man. Whole time, her, her whole time, her best friend was in the room encouraging her to do all that shit. Well, see, that's, no, that's the it's issue. It's even like, worse. She was just at her mama's house. You know what I'm she almost got kicked out like, I'm exposing that shit because I don't it's, give a fuck. It's, it's oh, I'm a grown ass man. And I'm not taking that shit. Like, it's stop it. Stop it. Stop it's the, it. That shit out. Stop it's it. the options. Hey, what's her Instagram? It's, it's the options. <laughs> I do it for real. Don't don't it's, play it's, it's Should I call reason, her one? It's, it's, it's the same reason why we <laughs> said y'all got yeah, the information overload. <laughs> yeah. Women in y'all generation dealing with the same thing. Information yeah. overload. It's way harder. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's thirsty yeah. nigga overload. Like y'all literally, first of all. That too. See. That too. That's the like, nigga overload, mm-hmm. man. And, and, well, yeah. that yeah. that side, but the other side again, for women, the comparison is crazy. Yeah. Like how women be like, oh, if you ain't got this energy, don't give it, don't come to me at all. Right. And it'd be a celebrity nigga that just rented out a stadium and gave his girl a car. <laughs> no cap. I'm like the Maybach. I'm like, oh, it's like she don't even got a car. Right, it's like the publicity of y'all relationships too. Like yeah, the big, all right. So speaking of so old social media, the biggest thing for us, oh, yeah. this nigga changed his status. Well, he changed his status from that's single. A, that's all to we had to worry about. That's it. That's man. Yeah. These hoes nowadays, they want to start YouTube channels with y'all, but, IG pages and no shit. Cap. <laughs> now I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. No I I saw the did start the uh the joint MySpace pages. Nah, yeah, I'll yeah, be damned. The joint never, MySpace never, page is nah, crazy. Yeah, it's funny. I, just, uh, I, I, don't, I don't like everybody in my business like that, so I don't even want to do fuck, that. Even yeah. if I'm locked in with somebody, yeah. broke. I ain't finna <laughs> that shit. I just feel like the girl, girl said broke the every day. <laughs> and it's all like, Ready hey man, I ain't, I, ain't with, I ain't with all that wasting stuff. Well, that's, well, that's <laughs> so y'all saw the meme. Uh, they said the average date costs like what, 90 Nah, that's, that's a fact, though. That's a fact. She's expensive out here, bro. Y'all young, girl. Y'all young, because them dates cost two. That was it. That's a discount. Shit. That's a bit two fifty. But I will say, if y'all, hey, hey, if y'all niggas got game shit, they can cost free. They can yeah. they just be free. See, and, and, and look, same. and that, <laughs> and that's what I was gonna say. The more shit change, the more shit stay the same. Because if you that nigga, yeah. if you got some game, you will yeah. always have a free meal, yeah. a place to stay, a yeah. car to drive. Tell like these hoes are still the same when it comes to that part. Like they, I think they be trying to have. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, no, that's, no, no, no. I'm not talking about. Yeah, yeah, but I ain't talking about the homosexual. I'm talking about the shawty who like will. You ever told a bitch you ain't trying to fuck with her because you trying to get your shit together? Yeah, and she's mm-hmm. constantly like, "Nah, it's okay. I'm gonna help you do it." Shit Dumb hoe. It's a lot of them still out here. <laughs> mm. That was yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah for like, sure. I'm trying to get my shit together. You lying to me talking about you gonna take me broke. Bitch, you lying. Hey, I, I know like you them. ain't taking a broke. Nigga. I don't like, like them. Hey, I wouldn't want to be a broke nigga with you. you. I sent yeah. you that video. Come on. I sent man. you that video on Instagram with a girl. The nigga was in the car like, she said, we're gonna figure this out. Whatever we gotta do, we're gonna do it together. That nigga felt like a bitch. I and that nigga was crying. I said, I said that to Keith. I said, yeah, Damn. I remember when I I remember when I fake cried to get a bit to give us some money one time. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that that's a good question. That's What's the wildest shit you did to get a bit to fuck with you? Oh my god! Like the I most, ain't, I ain't, I ain't no never did no out your shit. comfort zone shit. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which story you want? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say like, what age? Got a whole yeah, I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like what age? Because I feel like when I was Damn. in school, I used to like I, we used to get into antics in school. Yeah, so like. Yeah. We would set up a whole fake ass like video production just to you know yeah. Yeah, we doing a we doing a uh, sick massage you know what I'm saying yeah. like all types of shit <laughs> like nigga I don't I don't some a, a shot God, nigga, a shot a shot of new shit yeah sick massage I, I, I know what I'm saying you said out because you had to set it yeah, up out see out it wasn't just like oh no no That's it was like we. Yeah, we had the lotions, we had the candles, we had the sign up sheet, we had a time limit, so they knew, hey, look, we ain't in here trying to do no extra shit because we got to actually do these professional massages. So for us to be professional, you had to take that shirt off. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta, and then they go from there. Ooh, them boys. I done, I done, I done, I done production room. Bruh, happy I have. <laughs> I remember. Happy <laughs> I remember the high school. Shot, I was trying to fuck with. She was having a party. I purposely showed Shot up to the party up. a week early <laughs> on the day at like I ain't know just like so fuck with her first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh shit, this is the wrong day in my bed. <laughs> and then I came back. 
but that made me stand up. Yeah. So when I came back, I'm VIP Nig- style. I ain't going to lie. Niggas got to think outside the box, bro. It's too many yeah. niggas sliding in. With That's doing the one. same motion, you doing the same. Yeah, yeah. You, you got to come different, bro. I, yeah, I just feel like it's just shit. Like, because it be like little shit. Like, I just think it's anything like driving far. Yeah. You know, I used to carry books. That used to be my move in college. Like, I was, I was, I was, high sad. school, I was, college. Not, hey, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. You know, the new, the new thing, because, you know, it's so funny. I, the, again, knowing the market, right? Knowing the nigga market. That too. I, I, yeah, appre- the market I too. appreciate these niggas. The market damn right yeah. now for sisters. <laughs> for sure. The market set a date. You the mar- you the set a date. You ask the bitch out and set a date, nigga. Look, you that's you, know, you above you above 75. Nah, no. And look, okay, okay. but look, okay. this that goes to that goes to my point. Perfect segue. My favorite thing is to meet a shawty and take on a date that day. Dead that's through the crates. Dead through the crates. I, I met a shot. Met a shot we talking. We got our nails done. <laughs> but look, I took her out. We were going out to eat and everything. Nigga. My car had to come. <laughs> My oh, car. Oh yeah, yeah. Dig through the crate. She came on the pie. She, she came, came, on came on the pie. Told the stuff. My car had to climb. So I'm talking all this shit. I'm vibing with her. So I got she was going to get her nails done. You know, I said, I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna just vibe with you. Want to get her nails done? Want to get something to eat? Nigga, my car had to climb up. Damn. First day, mm. she had to pay for my shit too. Oh yeah, you ain't get no coochie after that, boy. Was she she still fucking with you though? I did <laughs> get in no oh, for sure. But she was still fucking with me. Dig through the crates. Yeah. She was still fucking from with a distance. Yeah, type shit. Yeah, for sure. I paid her back. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, yeah. And this, on our next date, I brought it in the envelope. Yeah, you know okay. But but look, when you meet a shot the first day, like man, look, I'm a, I'm a brother. I know what I want, and you know I love to get to know you some more. You know what you doing today? Mm-hmm. Six o'clock. I pick you up. Mm. Shit. Okay. Like, you know, Got whoop. me a new play. Now she five. She <laughs> now she a little slow. She let you pick her up. Mm. You really want her to be like, I'll meet you there. <laughs> yeah. If she say I pick you up, she a little slow. Like, yeah, she that's kind of crazy. I'm just saying, first week. But I think when it's all said and done, it's like, are you vote? Are you dating <laughs> for uh, fun? Are you dating for a purpose? You know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all too. niggas, y'all niggas still at that age where y'all could just be dating for fun, like. This shit yeah. don't gotta be. I'm dating for a purpose. I'm dating for a purpose. Or dating for your network. What's your purpose? What's your purpose? What's your purpose? What's your purpose, Takura? What he just said, the network. Takura said he dating for a purpose. What's your purpose? Because my shit is like, I guess it's like more so having like standards and expectations type shit. It's maybe not dating for a purpose, but dating for everything you're going to do in your life, you're going to level up. So I want my shorties to level up with me type shit. So I'm leveling, like, I'm dating shorties to. Oh, you do this? All right, cool. Now I got med school shorty. Okay, cool. Now I got a shorty working finance. Okay, cool. Like now I'm just yeah. leveling up through my shit. Like it's a it's a purpose so I can figure out what all these type of shorties okay. in these different industries increasing look like. Your feel network. like increasing my network. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to have um, I don't like these terms options. I don't like using that terms type shit. But I want to say you want to have a uh, different uh flows that you can just rock with. You want to put all your eggs in the same basket? You want different Hell baskets? Nah. Different what, strings, what a different of strings baskets. of income, Hell, different yeah, strings different of love. Strings of yeah. <laughs> so that's the purposeful part of it. It's like if you just kept dating, you just kept dating and choices that was just in retail. That shit would get boring, right? Ain't gonna lie, every shorties. now and then I take well, that, fast food. Well, 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 <laughs> let me let me be clear. Let me be clear. There's actually a point behind, like, oh damn, it's a little different. What's it called? You still dating for fun? When I say dating for purpose, I mean dating that you're going into go ahead and marry this show. That's mm. basically what I mean by purpose. Now, uh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. That's a that's a decent purpose. You know, at different yeah. times, you be needing different yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. But like, when you cut all the bullshit, you be like, you know what? I'm ready. Because y'all niggas, gonna, that's why I love this podcast shit, right? Because we've been potting for four years, right? Four. Y'all niggas potting for like a four years from now. I can't wait for you to hear. I can't wait to hear <laughs> JJ talk about his business, how it grew, and I can't wait to hear how some of y'all niggas fuck around and get married, fuck around and find a shawty, fuck four around years. and have some kids. Bro, within four years. Y'all 23, 27. You got to realize, if you're 27 you get money, your mindset going to be different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know and y'all got to It's my, it's my yeah. goal. Okay. Yeah. It's my goal to make sure y'all at 27 is 10 times where I was at. And if I was 10 times where I was in 27, nigga, I would I definitely would have had Cause, I definitely Because 27, married. you got three years left. So 30 is knocking at the door. So at 27, if you haven't found that shawty yet, it's the perfect time, especially your money be right. It's the perfect time to start looking 
to to Corey purpose uh, purpose right. Start looking at the landscape. Okay, Going my fi- your- my financial strategy okay. came up. You know what I'm saying? But mm. my my teacher saw this shit. She you know, went down. Like you start got you know, down to planting the seeds. Yeah, you early. Yeah, on some exactly. Shit. Because yeah. all at the end of the day, you still can be cool and be friends because we're grown people. Like we're yeah. grown yeah. network. Like yeah, yeah, you know, sure. we still got to do deals. We still got to do different shit. Everything ain't got to be on no fucking fucking fucking. But if we in on amicable terms, we in on some cool shit. We all I can forever do a podcast, put it in a group, and say, "Hey, y'all, promote this and have them promote my shit. Come to parties, come to this." Mm-hmm. But did I look at you as my shoulder? Did I come at you with purpose and say, "You know what? The, this part of my empire, I'm building with you." You know, twenty seven, y'all boys don't be looking like that. Yeah, I respect I that. I feel, I feel like I'm kind of, I'm kind of on that way right now. Goddamn, like just going out shit with like pure intentions and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, because yeah, y'all don't waste our time. Yeah, I ain't trying. I ain't trying to waste my time out here. I feel like I'm so like focus driven on my on, on what I got going on and shit like that. Shit, I got so much time. Oh my yeah. god, yeah, god boy. I'm about to say, time. this is what class of twenty twenty one. Nah, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. You just turned twenty. Yeah, yeah. When your birthday? In the summer, July 29th well, yeah. that twenty first birthday, we gotta turn up. That's a live yeah. pod. I'm trying to yeah. do a gala, we de- man. We de- yeah, a whole gala. You can sign Jeez. up. Go yeah. crazy. I'm trying to go stupid on some peace shit. You said, nigga, finna hit 24. Hey, that yeah. shit. That what, shit what right would you tell What would you tell your right. 20 year old self? My 20 year old self? Yeah. Mm. Boy, all right. Gotta, gotta really think. <clears throat> nah, nah. So, for one, i say this. You know, stop overthinking this shit. You know, I over, I, th- I over, like, I spent so much time setting up the play instead of making them. Instead of just making the play. But and, mm-hmm. how like, can you stop overthinking, though? Doing yeah, it, do it. Just doing it. Just doing it and being okay with fucking up. Yeah. Get to episode 181. Yeah. Just show up every week. Uh, like, you figure this shit out. You're going to record week. first episode. You're going to hate it. You're, you ain't going to have the right lights. You ain't have the right camera. You know what I'm saying? You're going to just. The, my podcast just shows you what it looks like to just. Not overthink. Yeah, not overthink and just. You're going to naturally grow. The, mm-hmm. the, the growth. And the success is in the consistency. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you can't get to the consistency without the execution. Mm-hmm. And you can't get the execution if you're overthinking. Mm-hmm. I mean, think about the rollout of y'all shit. We got to a point where we was almost overthinking it. It's like, nigga, zero, zero. Let's get this shit out. Let's go. We but, love well, let me, sh- let me show y'all what overthinking was for me. Mm-hmm. Trying to do this photo shit. I said, fuck, fuck it. Y'all send me a photo. You know what I'm saying? And that's me getting okay, to the yeah. execution. That was me like, I'm still gonna make this shit fire. I don't have to do. We still gonna do a photo shoot, yeah. but I already knew your art cover. This art, I, I told you, keep this vision day one. That's what it was gonna look like. Mm-hmm. So I was like, fuck it. Let me get a photo. You know, that nigga sent me a naked face photo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shit. Show the shit. Show the shit. I don't know you got it. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. Zoom in, zoom yeah, in, man. zoom in on my nigga. But, 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 but that was but that was me. Yeah, that was me. Overthinking, trying to do the photo shoot, and something stuff kept coming up. Yeah. So I was like, instead of being held up by that, let me just execute this art, and it looked great. Mm-hmm. Everybody on the show that they love that shit, it looked cool. Nigga, yeah. be like, yeah, I want to see what they talking about. Yeah. So we're gonna vibe. And the cool thing about it is, we upgrade the cover. You can upgrade it every season. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like if everybody got to do look, his lot's gonna be longer by then. Like to, every sure. season, we can just upgrade it. That's the fun thing right. about this. If this shit's yeah. don't grow, I'm cutting them off. I ain't gonna cut. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, they gonna grow. Nah, them bitches been growing. Yeah, they, they been growing though. They don't grow. Look, bro, you fucking with the team now. Them bitches been growing. Yeah, I started out. Hey, Chief with ball, man. Hey, that nigga had no hair. Yeah, yeah. At all. I seen that picture, man. Nah, I was like, no way. Shit, juice cut. Yeah, so so to my twenty year old self, you know what I'm saying, don't overthink, just do it, but also double down on your relationships. Mm-hmm. See, again, what I be telling y'all, what I'm doing with y'all and the young wolves, this is now refined stuff that I done tried and true that I knew. When I was first doing it back then, I ain't know. I felt like it was the right thing to do, but mm-hmm. I didn't necessarily know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But now I look back, all the relationships I got, all the people I know, it ain't too many things you can call me for. And I ain't got somebody that either do it or know somebody that do it. I confidently can say I'm one phone call away from being in touch with anybody in this city, no matter who it is, athlete, celebrity. The thing is, I'm still building the argument to why that call will make the connection. 
See what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just because you can get the connection done, don't mean you got yeah, something. You. Yeah, you got yeah. something yeah. worth yeah. them leveraging their relationship, right. their name to do it. Okay. So I feel like I'm in good space. But if I was 20, I'm doubling down on relationships and I'm not overthinking. Shit, if you ain't tapping in, you lacking in. Oh, yeah, you talking about that. <laughs> you talking about that. Yeah, you talking about that's a good. 20, I just say stay to the plan, man. You know, at 20, you can see. So as many distractions as y'all have now, I still ran into distractions then. So it's mm, like, yeah. if I could just stay to the plan, because like. Stay focused. It, Nah, not focused. See, I was focused, right? Mm-hmm. But my plan. Because you could be focused changing. on a goal. Uh, you can be focused on the outcome. Mm-hmm. If your outcome is financial freedom, that's your focus that you're, that's your outcome you focus on. You need to focus mm-hmm. on the your, journey. Your plan, your plan to get, to get there can, can, can keep changing. Yeah. And so it's like, keep... I want to get there, but I keep hopping in different vehicles. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, I need to find a vehicle that's mine, Word. double down on it, stay in it. Because, I mean, we, we always kick it back to the pod. Me and Elders always do that because this has probably been the longest, most consistent uh, thing that we've done growing wise is everything. Like mm-hmm. going to the gym, contacting family members, saving money, anything that you're supposed to be doing consistently, we ain't did consistently outside of the podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, and, it's, and in that, we've grown in consistency in other things. You know, because we can look back and say, you know what? If I can pod every week, I can do this every week. If I got time to pod, I can call this person. If I got time to pod, I can do. And your consistency just grows. But if I would have known it at 20, I'd been a different person. Mm. Been a little bit different. Mm. Yeah. Because the plan, bro, the plan don't change, man. Like, this shit don't change. The only thing that gets you off is, like, other people trying to get you off of your rock a little bit and just not believe. Comparison. Man, you remember, you remember not, that? Not even comparison. Comparison not, is a thief not, of joy. Not, not believing. Because, like El just said, if... We came up in the time we did during that Kanye dropout time where it wasn't cool. You know, mm-hmm. nobody knew Facebook would be Facebook. Now, some people knew and believed, but most people didn't. So at the time when I'm dating the shot, she's telling me, uh, you start your own business. Fuck that. I just see you, you know, we need to be focused on this job, mm-hmm. this career, 40 years of this career. You know, they get you a watch at the end for the 40 years and all. Let's, let's focus on that. Mm-hmm. Cause she didn't know what entrepreneurship and building a bit. Cause we don't come from that all the time. Yeah. But if I would have stayed to the plan, it's different. And then the podcast is the idea of me staying to the fucking plan. Ain't nothing gonna change. And, uh, nothing stop the pod. Yeah, and and your people around you gonna be important for that too. Because <laughs> even where I gotta watch myself, like is you get so caught up on what's next, you don't really just enjoy the journey of it. You know, we mm-hmm. I look at like. Sometimes I really just got to sit down and be like, bro, you about to drop episode 180 and so much has changed. You know what I'm saying? From mm-hmm. episode one. But you just so far from where you want to be. Mm-hmm. You just you got to enjoy the pro. The, the journey is where the beauty really is. We even talked about this year being an yeah. unintentional year. So, yeah. So yeah. much shit has happened this year that when I go back in January, I'm like, Fuck, we did that in January? Word. We did that in February? Yeah. Like, think about y'all year. Like, how, nigga, it's December. It's the end of the fucking Word. year. Shit, came by. Yeah, I was going to say, bro. I feel like when I first, when I just met you niggas, but I exactly. feel like meeting y'all niggas had to be about six months ago. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. I was going Damn, through my when, camera when roll. First meet that's some footage. Yeah. That nigga cat had about. a crystal on when I first met him. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. Like yeah. February. You talking, yeah. about on, you talking about on your ring? You got, nah, I, big, had a, I had a big <laughs> motherfucker. I had a big ass amethyst. Cause that was <laughs> I when think I, was, I remember that. Yeah, that was when I was first going through just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, your crystal hoe phase? Not even crystal hoes. <laughs> I was actually really just tapping into myself for real. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And my sure. little my little guru had gave it to me, but yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I was sure looking this, through my shit too. It's been a long ass yeah, year. You know what I'm saying? Tell you. I mean, and so, that. so what's y'all um, goals for next 2023? Yeah, what's that? What's that? What's your 2023 goals, Takura? You want me to read them to you? Oh, Ooh, shit. This is good. This shit, is good. He got, he got them locked down. Yeah, this is good. What you want me to do? I'm going to pull out the pad. Yeah. In January, I will do pen. this. That's good, though. Yeah, no, having, yeah. having, having your shit already mapped out. Why are you pulling it up? I just said 2023 intention. You know what I'm saying? No matter what goals I'm setting, no matter what. Everything I'm doing will be intentional. I'm going right. to think about mm-hmm. it. I like that. You know, make my next move my best move. Facts. 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 What you got, Corey? Shit, I got 
non-profit, something like my own. You know, we were doing the Black Man Live, but uh-huh. all respect to the OGs, but it's time to, next year is going to be the spot for the mental health conversation, like just having it. You know, near the mic campaign I told you about, like that's going to be full fruition. Have my own space set up, just continue to just rock with that. Um, I'm focused on STEM, so at 30, I'm trying to have a STEM facility, just focus on research for children of color publication companies, media development, yeah. um, expanding the companies, opening up centers, civic engagement, relationships, working on that billion, you know what I'm saying? Just finding myself a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Yeah, bro, just erase and, and cutting out a lot of shit, unlearning a lot of shit in 2023 is really what I'm looking forward to as well, bro. Like, re- mm-hmm. unlearning and relearning a lot of shit. Honestly, at the end of the day, bro. What's up? What's about you, JJ? Oh, <laughs> I ain't really uh, looked too far into my 23 goals. I'm still trying to finish out 22, you know. But uh, I say my main goal I got for right now for next year to be a top sales producer in my office. Okay. It's going to happen. Okay. It's not, not, I'm, I'm speaking that sentence to fruition. That shit going to happen. Uh, that, stack up bread, get my own crib, things like that, you know. Right. That's what's up? Shit, for me, it's pretty much all about moving with purpose and actually executing what I've been trying to, like, get going. You know what I'm saying? I just got my keyboard, so, you know, I'm trying to get book, yo, I'm trying to get booked yo. and busy all next year, you know what I'm saying? To the point where it's like, I don't want to really have to work a job because I'm so busy on focus playing on my piano and shit like that. That's going to happen for you. Like, like no doubt. That's, that's really where I want to take my 2023 because I feel like 2022 has been a place where it's been all about self growth and self work, especially like these last couple months. Mm-hmm. Just I've been doing a lot of meditation, a lot of fasting, mm-hmm. you know, really spending a lot of time so I, like set aside and think about what I really wanted to do in my life and shit like that. So mm-hmm. 2023, 2022 is really all about like planning and seeing like the vision. And t- I feel like 2023 is just for me, is like all about execution, just like setting like right getting there. shit locked and loaded on the way. Right Not for real. Right yeah. For me, I'm gonna say, uh, like JJ said, I'm on that same wave. Like, I'm really trying to finish out 22 very strong with the goals that I already had. But uh, for 23, it's similar to what we were just talking about, too. I've been reading this book called uh, Five Dysfunctions of a Team. So, like, I'm really just trying to mainly kind of, you know, tighten up my circle for real and just bear down for real and, like, stay focused on, on like, who I have and, and uh, who has access to my energy because I understand I'm, – I'm actually understanding how much – value I bring to people, how much energy I actually give off when I either enter a space or, or I'm just fucking with people in general. So I'm just trying to kind of merge it and, and bring it to a, a a smaller circle for real and just learn how to manage it. And then also with my YouTube shit, I want to I wanna turn this shit into a whole different wave, really. Like, that's why now, oh yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm about to run up the numbers. I ain't even finna bullshit, but like right now I'm just vlogging every day. So I'm just you know, like y'all was saying, I'm just putting out products so people can see it, and I'm learning a lot. But when it comes to 23, I'm finna just get ready to try to bring everything and all the people that I know into my platform and give them a, a chance and opportunity to expand their shit through my vision. You know what I'm saying? That's my main goal for 23. Have y'all um, yeah. ever been taught how to, like, properly set goals? Been taught? Yeah. Well, yeah. With, like, writing them? Yeah, depends school. what you what you think is like yeah, I mean, proper. Just, I mean, just I like not. it's it's a proper th- it's a proper like formula to set goals. Like, it gotta mm-hmm. be attainable. Uh, Are oh, you talking about the whole little acronym for it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got I got something I want to do with y'all um, that I do how I set my goals. It's a whole mm-hmm. process, but yeah. it really just lays it out so you can kind of track it throughout the year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To know if you're on points with it. So we'll do that. Let's take some time Word. and just set our goals. So for me. Word. I hate being a December baby. <laughs> <laughs> what you laughing? Nah, I was gonna say, nigga, this ain't goal setting class. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's why I said we're gonna do it later. Because it is goal setting class. Uh, that nigga, he, he be calling me. He flexing right now. So, so. Um, but uh, I love my, I hate being a December baby, but I, that's what I do every year on my birthday. I set my New Year goals because it just kind of give me a time to read. Refresh and reset for and, it. And I ain't gonna lie, we talked about this on the pod, Dig Through the Crates. I don't have New Year goals. I got like fiscal year goals because the way my life set up. Like, <laughs> my guy, I got all these multiple I, kids. I just listened to that episode. So like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, the way it's set up, I don't, yeah. 
my shit resets in March. So normally I do March rolls. Yeah, like, I mean, that yeah, shit reset in March. Right? Yeah, because like my, because the way this shit happens for me, like all the holidays back to back, then the kids' birthdays be happening back to back. So mm. I say this is a busy time and like a very draining time, energy, mm-hmm. money, everything. So like March, yeah. I get to look back, reset. You know, saying April, May, we back on it. You know, right. facts. Yeah, but I'm excited about it, man. I'm excited about y'all. Yeah, I'm man. Y'all should sound good. Yeah, that's man. That's yeah. why we fuck with y'all. Y'all boy got some real good. Yeah, so, so, so my listeners, if you listen to my podcast, do me a favor. Just support these young brothers. Click you know the link. The, Click their, the link. Their link is in the show notes for their feed and vice versa. If y'all fucking Word. with the young boys, y'all... Like with the old niggas over here saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. any young girls out there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 she about to come on y'all probably like the old uncle nah, niggas, nah, not too young, all my, not on our platform, we're on that shit, all my, we're uncle, I can't even say, all them, all them girls in their twenty now, you know. Nah, wanna, for real, you want a splendid daddy. I ain't got no money to be a sugar daddy. You know what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> niggas for splendid. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we appreciate y'all too, though. We nah, shout nah, out real, I look, I look real. forward. As a matter of fact, before we wrap up, because this shit going to come out on Wednesday, uh, voting is going to have happen on Tuesday. Word. How do y'all boys feel? Y'all are the younger demographic. Do you feel like y'all came back out for this runoff? Did y'all? Yeah, nah, oh, none of these niggas voted. Yes. Yeah. I actually do feel like more Did young you people- vote? No, but I said, I said <laughs> listen, listen, you gotta listen, bro. I said I feel like more young people came out, like not me specifically, but I've been watching them Instagram Dustin, did stories. You vote? Did you vote there? Vote on them. December six, bro. Dustin, did, I, I know December six is when when did you got vote, bro. Did you, did you, I know, the, the pod came out Wednesday, so yesterday. Oh you know yeah, 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 So you're so you gonna vote? Yeah. All right. What about you, JJ? You can be real. Keep I mean, don't vote. I, I want to, but I mean, I work. Yeah. I work this week, so I mean, I don't know. Niggas can go down. Look, man. But if look, bro, if your Warnock job, your don't job. win, look, I blame I blame the old folks if Warnock don't win. Mm. How the fuck Herschel mm. Walker even get in that bitch? Because that y'all y'all voted, with us. y'all voted power is stronger than old folks. What, what mm. time the polls close? Well, I can every it's day. Like, probably like seven. seven. No, the fuck God, you didn't. <laughs> like, I probably, that's I who I blame. I blame. I blame, I blame <laughs> canvases, bro. Yeah, I, you should. Like, bro, when I say these canvases did nothing. <laughs> look, look, look. It's Damn. only a few canvases I, I know that actually can. I ain't talking about yeah. canvases of the year right I, here. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. I, see, y'all, 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 I had a whole fan about this shit like that. That's what I'm saying. Y'all, I feel like, <laughs> bro, that's I feel like what, I feel like what, that's Cal an anomaly. More, more young people came out, but I think what Elijah says, I don't think y'all understand and leveraging y'all power, right? Yeah, that's what it is. So I think 2024, Y'all will see a big vote. Like, Loki, 2024 is going to be the first time in like 10 years that young people can decide the presidency. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. the first time in about y'all a decade. Y'all can decide whoever y'all want. Like, no matter what, all the old people, if all the old people get together and vote for this one motherfucker, and y'all vote for the other motherfucker, y'all, y'all win. Y'all literally could I'm, write in. I'm y'all could write in, little baby. All y'all would have to do that. No, please don't tell niggas to do that. Shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of scared. Of niggas that. was voting for Harambe and shit. Yeah. yeah. I don't want that. No. I don't want that. Cool on That power to Our generation don't that know responsibility. what the fuck is with that shit. Whether you want it or not, it's here. He a regular is that, nigga. He just is that your doorstep? Is that your doorstep? No, we're not, we not talking about him specifically. Is that your I'm not talking and, about and me you specifically. Gotta take, yeah. I'm talking about everybody else in my generation. They don't know. But look, but this is the thing. They think Biden ain't a good president. It's at your doorstep. And that's why you got a platform. Yeah. Right, I was you just educated yeah. people. You got a platform. Yeah. You got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, got about a year. I'm saying at the forefront of every movement is the youth, man. So it's like there you go. T- no, dead hey, ass. Not, not for real. So it's like oh, if, if you're gonna be on this platform, we gotta push a positive message on this shit. Man. Hey, that's, 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 we're gonna have a couple podcast, 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 a couple politic yeah. episodes. Man, I mean, yeah, we got no, a we couple definitely have some episodes. Speaking of positive message, you know, being healthy, how we eating. Like y'all ever had them raps? What rate to me? That was funny. That was funny. That was funny. That was Raps. I'm still getting it. He said, rap that shit up, nigga. Basically, rap that shit up, nigga. Remember he did that shit? Yeah. yeah. Let's wrap you know? it up then. Remember that? That shit was funny, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Let me wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, but, like, but nah, for real, for real. Um, give everybody your, uh, how to contact you, how to find you. This is your sign off official of Tacor. So, and catch me T underscore S O L E. 
Uh, you can catch my photography page, Shot by Soul. That's Shot by S O L E. Um, and yeah, catch me in the streets, man. Catch me, you find me. For sure. Shit. Tapping on IG, Cozy Boy JJ or Cozy Dot Collector. Shot, come shot. You know, I got all the drill, all the goods. You feel me? So tap in. Hey, man. Y'all could just hit me up. Y'all could see me where you never find me. D U C C I dot D D. You know, that's Ducci dot D D. You know what I'm saying? I'm on Instagram, uh, Twitter. You know all that. Just, just tap in with me. You know what I'm saying? Are you trying to make your voice sound deep? Nah. <laughs> Cal, what you got? <laughs> Niggas always nah, hating on emotion. <laughs> nah, follow me on every platform. Cal for real. So it's K H A L number four R E A L. Follow me on every platform. I'm going crazy tapping with the content and show some love, man. You only fans too. I was just. Huh? In the- <laughs> 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 That's your nah, own- matter of fact, follow my other Dude, content right, page dude. on Instagram channel for real. Follow that too, cause I'm dropping all my content on there, and it's finna go crazy too. Fuck all that OnlyFans shit, this nigga talking about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shot at Trim. <laughs> Y'all already know where to find me, it's your boy. Just Elders. Also follow the Just Elders media page. Also follow at Them Boys Pod page. Yeah, sure. Spell you it know, out. Spell it out for them. T H E M B O Y S. P-O-D. I ain't gonna care. You fucked me up. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I had to think about that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Start, yeah. start spelling out loud. I get nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a hate popcorn reading, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that shit. But look, hey, yeah. look, we said this every week. We love y'all. We need y'all. But most importantly, we can't wait to see y'all next week. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Just Elders podcast featuring the Who Gay Them Boys a pie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. comment, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. They got warm as fucking they do. What is this, bro? It's just that lifestyle. Turn on my podcast. I'm trying to hit it real now. Hit yeah, perspective. We want to keep it real now. Every day we on the grind. Sometimes it's hard to tune out the outside. Oh, it's just Eldridge, it's just Eldridge. Tune in on the podcast. Tune in on the podcast. Yeah. Real things, you know we gon' laugh. Yeah. Kick it back, kick it back, kick it back.